like seven minutes before that shit ended. I just like knew. I was like, yeah, it's the Super Bowl. They're gonna milk well, this yeah, shit. It's gonna go overtime. I knew what was gonna happen as soon as uh the 49ers did not convert on that like third and two with yeah. a- after the two minute warning. It was fucking over. I knew exactly yeah. what happened was exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah. Because that's what happened <laughs> with yeah. with Patrick Mahomes. So like it, it's it, it all he is he's the new tom brady like it's that's what it was you're a good fucking expect. game though it was uh, a really good yeah. game i was disappointed because i wanted him to lose but me too know. yeah i was pretty bummed oh we're live oh hi oh hi <laughs> yeah 40. oh shit i should probably turn this off then oh. <laughs> well you started talking about something that uh, well americans seem to think is entertaining for some reason and this is an entertainment podcast so i figured super bowl talk yeah. On, it's the only time I ever hope that the Super Bowl gets a mention on my channel because honestly, <laughs> fuck that thing. Like, I, I don't understand. I actually put some of it on. It was on was it ITV over here, I think it was, at about three in the morning. And obviously that's like the Jesus. middle of my work day. So I was sitting there watching something else and then I, I just kept looking at Twitter and people were talking about how it's absolutely definitely a fix that this this guy who's Taylor Swift's boyfriend yeah. or whatever the hell will will somehow win the game. Um, and I thought, well, it's gone to overtime, which I think is what we call extra time over here. So I thought, I'll put, I'll put overtime on. I have 10 minutes to work out what the hell is going on in what this thing is that you call a sport. It, I had no idea what was happening. But I did watch a bit of it, and it was just as boring and pointless as I thought it was going to be. Um, so I don't understand what you guys see in this at all. <laughs> wow, you thought something that you didn't understand the rules of was boring. That's fucking fascinating. But I had a weird amount of time to understand. The Sounds like an because, Andor hater. No, because like, <laughs> like, <laughs> got them, boys. But you have so much time to figure out what the rules are because nobody ever plays the game. It's like they throw the ball and then they stop for five minutes. Well, and so I sit there thinking, oh, I wonder why they've stopped. At least I've got time to try and figure out what's happening as they all go off and get oxygen. And then an entire new cast of characters comes on the, the pitch for some reason. <laughs> and like, I don't understand what's happening in this game. But I did see the guy abuse that really old guy, which apparently was a scandal. So, yeah, you know, that, that was, was actually Taylor Swift's boyfriend too. Was screaming, by the way. dude, that was so funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Kelsey was screaming at Andy Reid. He was losing um, his mind. I um, I remember what that was about. Wasn't it about like the Chiefs said fumbled the ball and he should have been in the play? And uh, it's I, I saw some people complaining about like that's what this generation's all about right here. They're so fucking entitled. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how dare you scream at a two-time, now three-time Super Bowl winning coach? Um, but, yeah. <laughs> the, the big question, of course, is, was this all an elaborate plot to win the election for Joe Biden? That's oh, the only thing I'm interested in. That, that weird, that weird discourse. Right what away. the hell? Yeah, but, but she endorsed in 2020. How is it a conspiracy? Woman who endorsed Democrats last time endorses Democrats again. Is not like if that's a government psyop, then we've gone from the like, Iran Contra and Watergate to Taylor Swift doing the thing that Taylor Swift's already done in the space of 40 years. And I think we need a better class of government psyop, personally, because that's Honestly, just shit. It, th- even the Taylor Swift endorsing Biden seems like too much of a you know, too much effort for the U- United States government to pull off. Yeah. And uh, don't underestimate like the ability of Taylor Swift to infiltrate like the NFL, right? Like if you get um, like if it's mostly like a right leaning fan base, but you get a bunch of, you know, left leaning like women to convince their man to vote for Joe Biden instead. Like that could be the psyop. Like the fact that you are dismissing it is part of the psyop platoon. <laughs> ah, oh, I see. It's chess, an elaborate bro? game. And so it is the fifth dimension. chess. <laughs> it's the fifth dimension of chess. The Biden, like Joe Biden's Twitter account posting that fucking cringe boomer meme about like all as we planned it or whatever the hell it was. I, I saw that and I thought, okay, that's incredibly cringe. But the real cringe thing is that like if you are the kind of person who is being trolled by a man who doesn't remember what he had for breakfast this morning, then the problem is you. It's Holy not fuck. like you deserve to be trolled by this ancient like the he's the knight from fucking Monty Python's Monty Python's Holy Grail, <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail, the Last Crusade. That's what I'm going for. I'm getting there. I'm warming up. Um, yeah, like if you're getting trolled by this guy, you're screwed. But apparently, lots of people are. I think Melanie Mack was one of the people who definitely believes that this is a complete government psyop. So you know, each to their own. She just really hates the Chiefs, probably. Honestly, yeah. Did yeah, you? She's a Steelers fan, so I'm just saying this because I guess me. Most of us are not in America, ha, so we can make fun of you. 
Um, <laughs> your president confused the border of Egypt and Mexico today. I did see that. Yeah, that oh, was pretty funny. That's crazy. Well, that was today? Oh, oh that's no, amazing. That was, no, that that was, was a couple days that ago. Was, was that so the, oh, was the that? extra brilliant thing about that was, that was after so you had the special counsel's report calling him a well-intentioned elderly <laughs> man who can't remember anything. And then he gave a press conference to dispel rumors that he had a bad memory, during which he thought Mexico was on the border of Gaza. So, oh. yeah, it's it's um, it's all entertainment. Uh, this is all within the purview of the entertainment clip. podcast. I need oh, to boy. know, like, why did he say this? <laughs> What's the context i need to oh. i need to hold on just talking about like possible world war shit you know and yeah. you can't even remember which country is on this was, side of the hemisphere it was so self-defeating because like, he did this short press conference when he was basically just addressing the report saying no i can remember stuff actually so shut up really angrily he walks off and you think well okay he's he looked a bit on like infirm and out loud and angry but he basically got away with it then someone asked him a question and he walked back to the podium to confuse the prime ministers of Gaza and Egypt. Oh, Biden, you were so, you so nearly made it off the stage. And then you, you walked back and, oh no. Uh, this this morning it was announced. Yeah, this morning it was announced that Kamala Harris said that she's ready to take over now and, uh, due to the scrutiny of Joe's age. So it's all it's all going according to you know, plan. No, he's not guys. really that old, but since you guys won't stop mentioning it, I'll fucking do it. I'll find it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think that was basically the nail in the coffin, that's all. Is that meant to instill confidence? Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris I guess. So, don't worry, guys. I, I've got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that um, Hillary Clinton is trying to position herself to swoop in. I just have really? this gut feeling, dude. Yeah, she came out the other day and was talking about how, like, she's like, you know, Biden is kind of old. I'm like, oh, fuck, bitch. So is You're she. Coming. Oh, she's so making moves. <laughs> she's making moves. I take she her over a, Biden. <laughs> she congratulated Taylor Swift's boyfriend publicly on Twitter uh, last <laughs> night as well. So oh, my it, God. It's all happening, guys. It's all happening. <laughs> Did I'm she sorry, did she but... say congratulations Taylor Swift's boyfriend? Did she did. Yeah. yeah. She actually said that did. in the tweet. No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I love American politics. But it's great. It's basically like watching a comedy show and there's not very much actual comedy around at the moment. So, you know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris kind of fill that gap Hillary Clinton to a lesser extent cuz you have to be careful the extent to which you mark her before you end up on a list or something. Um, oh my so, god, she did. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. <laughs> uh, that's so great. That's a good segue to Deadpool, though. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm screenshotting this. Sorry. I'm using this in the video. I don't know where, but I will. Deadpool trailer? Excited? Not yeah, excited? Taylor Swift's like uh, best friend, Ryan Reynolds. Is that not? Is that not the case? Wait, was she in the last Deadpool movie? No, but she's going to be in this one as yeah, the Dazzler. Right. Oh my god! Thank. Um, yeah, she better die uh, instantly. Is she really? Taylor oh. Swift is in is is in the yes. Deadpool film, or it's oh. rumored, aka leaked, okay. aka it's official because uh, Disney leaked everything. She's in the movie, right? And uh, like her and uh, I don't I don't know why I know this. Uh, her and Blake Lively are like best friends so like yeah <laughs> i don't know why i fucking have to know this i wish i didn't have that information in my head Yo, i'm honestly, very you know, like very out of touch with you know women so who's blake lively i don't know who that is ryan reynolds. Ryan reynolds. she's uh one of the main characters she's... from the original gossip girl disgustingly think... attractive like do you, remember, seen that? do you remember the last green lantern movie well the only green lantern movie with ryan reynolds the best no. one <laughs> She was the uh, love interest in that one. That oh. rings in bells. It, it doesn't at all, but but now okay. I know. So that's that's something. Wait, did they get married <laughs> because of that movie? No, he was married to Scarlett Johansson at the time that movie came out. It was like a couple years after Whoa. they got together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I keep forgetting they were married, right? Because yeah. you never saw them together. That's crazy. Yeah. They married for like two weeks. <laughs> Said GG and then left. <laughs> um well speaking of you know ryan reynolds and all that but the deadpool and wolverine it finally got a name uh the trailer for that dropped yesterday and uh i wanted to get everyone's thoughts on it and kind of um well everyone's thoughts on the movie and its potential i guess too um so yeah uh we can start with Bagface if you want oh good sir 
Um, dude, this movie's gonna crush. Like, mm. I'm I'm gonna just come right out. I think one point two billion at least, because like uh, I always go based off of if my mom texts me or calls me to be like, this movie looks really good. I'm like, okay, this got Normie's attention. It's going to make a lot of money if you can pick up on the Normies. And she did right away. She was like, oh my God, did you see the Deadpool trailer? So uh, I, I really liked it. Mostly just because I think the whole trailer's vibe was just trying to give off like, Disney didn't really touch this. That's kind of what it felt like. It was like he was reassuring everyone that like, this is... Uh, not a Disney Marvel movie, so I'm kind of excited for it. I'm, I'm writing this. Did you say 1.2 billion? Yeah. <laughs> I'm writing this down so the next time when it makes 300 million, we can all laugh. Yeah, Bagfish uh, is like I, I said. One two, one point two million. I thought it was going to. There's no way. There's I, I no. Called, I called Barbie. No way. It's I'm only going to make 300 Barbie. million. Did you call Barbie? I did. I said Barbie would make over a billion. Fuck. Yeah. It's yeah, someone else in the chat. I called it for too. the meme. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> yeah, three trillion. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Marvels lost uh Disney two hundred billion, so uh, they're Disney coming back. Million. <laughs> million. We just talked about No, this. I know, I know. <laughs> uh we'll get to that though. Two hundred million. Yeah, um, that uh whoever in the chat, C Caterus or something, if if Guardians three did eight hundred million Deadpool is going to do more than that easily. Mm. Guardians is popular, but it's not like Deadpool and original Wolverine. Like my mom was like, oh my God, I can't believe they got Wolverine. Like, damn, <laughs> my mom's excited about that shit. She doesn't give a fuck about anything. Well, Wait, they didn't certainly Guardians made sure... make more money than Deadpool 2. Yes, but uh, so. do not underestimate the power of like, the combination still like uh, Avengers was a combination of a bunch of franchises that like at that point, only one of them really was kind of a breakout success with Iron Man. But the combination made it, you know, it was like what 1.6 billion or something at the time. So when you add Wolverine in the mix, it probably adds a few hundred million on like I old like uh, I don't know how deeply you guys watch the trailer, but they had like old original Fox Universe X-Men in there. Which yep. is like, that's that's pretty tight. I'm I'm sure once people are like, hey, Halle Berry's in this as Storm, there'll be a nice bump of people like, kind of like Strange, like uh, Multiverse of Madness. That movie sucked. Trying to do people... the Spider-Man No Way Home. Exactly. That's exactly. what I was about I, to I say. Like it's it's going to do that. Yeah, over a billion for sure. I agree with Bagface, but I think this movie will be meh. Personally. Well, I I think it can make a billion if it's good. Um, I, it'll make a billion either way. Like if I'm just looking at the reactions of people online, it's like everyone's, oh, you know, some nice camera angles and haha -ha, Disney joke and all of that stuff. But it kind of looks like Disney flavored Deadpool, if that makes sense. Um, I don't like the introduction of the TVA as mm -hmm. well, because uh, that's going to mean there's going to be a whole they're going to promote it as you got to watch all of this or there's going to be really useless tie ins that don't go anywhere. Um, and what how many cameos have been um rumored so far i feel oh. like it's at least 40 or something Over like that 20. it's ridiculous yeah. yeah like that doesn't seem very promising because it also i feel like the marketing is going to lean heavily into that when we get a second trailer um this first trailer also wasn't very <sighs> it felt like they used all the stuff that they filmed before the strike that's it and it was painfully yeah, obvious yeah. the second half because they yeah. kept cutting back to the same uh that same snow sequence uh, quite a few times. <clears throat> yeah, Andrew, I'd like to be—I'd like to be wrong though, but I'm just, it's going to be. Uh, eh, eh. Uh, I thought the trailer was all right. Um, like, I haven't—I I haven't watched the Deadpool movies in a long time. But all I know is that, like, looking back at the humor, I don't really vibe with it anymore. It was funny when I was in middle school, but I like—I don't know if they're going to have to like fresh, like freshen up the style of comedy a lot in order to make me at least laugh it's already the like the um the pegging yeah. joke didn't do it for you <laughs> no no <laughs> it was just the, like the i was like one did though the, <laughs> that was like great. i don't know the humor's just like all right next like i don't it's it's not like it doesn't hit anymore um 
And then, uh, yeah, the TVA getting involved. I don't like it because I don't like Loki. Um, so, and the TVA is just completely fucked in terms of a, a world building tool. Um, so, yeah, it's pro the movie's probably not going to be good, but I think it'll be fun. I'm liking some of the action in the trailer, like where he loads his guns and he's flipping and do a lot fancy. I was like, that's cool. It'll probably how much be fun. Do you think it'll make though? That's the thing that we're gonna uh, have to. How much did the last one make? I think it was seven hundred. Like seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with all the with the Wolverine being in it is just huge. Uh, my dad also texted me about it mostly because he was watching uh, the Super Bowl and he saw it. Um, but yeah, I, I, man, I don't know. I, yeah, a billion's a pretty easy guess. Um. I'll go like, I'll undercut it. I'll go like 900 million. Just for the nice, sake of yeah. diversity in the guesses. <laughs> so. Uh, who hasn't, a cynic, uh, what, what, how much do you think it'll make? Um, I think probably 800 million is my call because that's about what the other ones made and the level of disinterest in superhero movies in general uh, would probably bring it back. Th uh, would probably bring that number down, um, but then add Wolverine in, and it'll probably make up for that, you know, lack of interest. So I, I think probably around the same as it, as the other two, um, and they'll actually see that as a success. I would think, um, you know, uh, if it's the same budget as most Marvel movies, it's probably less. Um, uh, but that's like a break even point, um, and. I think the problem is like the trailer just kind of looked like Deadpool, which is good enough. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't, uh, it, you know, like Vex said, it clearly was just a bunch of stuff that they had filmed uh, before the strike. And, um, you know, to that end, like they definitely needed a win, especially with the Marvels absolutely bombing. So like they needed to get, uh, you know, Deadpool and some excitement out in front of as many people as possible in the Super Bowl is it. And they didn't have a lot to work with. Um, and so the trailer itself isn't exciting. It was more of just like uh, letting everyone know that it's still going to be Deadpool, at least the best of, that they possibly can, um, which really your mileage probably varies on that anyway. Uh, the only reason I'm excited about it is because of Wolverine. Like that's their goal of having Wolverine in there. Um, I think the Deadpool series was like totally fine. Um and as a person that puts a lot of toilet humor in his reviews, like, honestly, <laughs> the comedy doesn't really click with me. I counted how many, like, poop jokes were in the trailer. I think there were, like, three. Um, but, yeah, it's probably going to do Deadpool money. And then it's not nothing's going to happen afterwards either. It's just a stopgap. It's like a stop the bleeding the best they can because... Like Ryan Reynolds, uh, you know, Deadpool's not a lead character for the MCU. He's not like an MCU savior. Uh, and Hugh Jackman's old. So this is really just a last grab at money. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not going to save the intellectual property that is the Marvel Cinematic Universe at all. Mm. That's my I thought. wonder how actually, I mean, well, I'll, I'll lowball it and say 750 million just because I, I think it's... The franchise is slightly collapsed out. I think Deadpool is also slightly collapsed out. And yeah, the cameos will help, but I don't know if they'll be enough to really compensate to get up to the billion. I wonder, though, how important this film is going to end up being, because that trailer did seem, well, on the one hand, it seemed quite sort of important, and it suggested important things will happen. There's the line about, you know, the cinematic universe is going to change. They've got the TVA in there for a reason. And if you're going to have the TVA in there for anything, you'd think maybe pulling people from one timeline to another timeline is, is a good use for them. Um, so I, I wonder whether they might use this, in fact, because it is the last gasp for a, a popular film, uh, mm -hmm. to, you know, shepherd the X-Men through some bollocksy TVA time portal, um, into the, the thing proper. I don't know how much of that's going to be true, though, because, like, the trailer has everything I really find annoying about Deadpool. Like, it, it raises these interesting things, and it gets really serious for a minute, and I think, you know what? They're going to be reintroducing the TVA for a cinematic audience, probably. So, you know, it's an opportunity to redo them in a more interesting way. Um, maybe they could do something unique and cool with, you know, getting the X-Men through. But then as soon as they do that, there's some cutaway fourth wall breaking shit joke, which is like, OK, I understand that Deadpool is about breaking the fourth wall. That's fine. It was kind of funny in the first film. 
But as soon it's it, it's kind of bait and switch in its own way, and I, I wonder whether or not the entire film will just be that. In which case, it's going to annoy the fuck out of me. But um, it will probably make more money than anything else Marvel's got coming out this year. So there is that. Yeah. I think uh, Reynolds, at least in the movies I've been watching of his lately, he's. I think he kind of understands his humor is somewhat played out, but he doesn't really have another bag. But most of the things I've seen him act in and produce, which he does a lot now, the last like the last act of the movie is usually like, okay, we'll cut the jokes and and it like picks up a little more serious of a tone, which I'm hoping for. I feel like it's gonna be like. Uh, like I don't know if any of you guys noticed the lame dude. I'm I'm back to like full Marvel nerd, but there's a Secret Wars comic <laughs> on the ground. Yep, I yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yeah, so I feel like this is, and it's the only Marvel movie this whole year. So I yep. feel like it's uh, yeah, it's probably um, going to be pretty consequential. Jay Goodwin did bring up a good point that this will be an R-rated movie, but if I remember correctly, both the last Deadpool movies smashed the R-rated box office records. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they both came out, and we've seen we've seen other R-rated movies like be really really successful, uh, like Oppen- Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Rated R? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Oppenheimer's rated R, um, and that was a Joker too. Yeah. Uh, Joker hit a billion, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, um, and that was just like a the only R-rated Joker. one to hit a billion, I think. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this one with Deadpool, and then with cameos and stuff, and Wolverine specifically, I think a billion's pretty easy for it. Well, this um, is um, this is also a, a really interesting test of like, you know, how fatigued are people? Are people mm-hmm. so fatigued uh, they're not going to make it out for Hugh Jackman as Wolverine with Ryan Reynolds Deadpool, who both like, you know, even though I don't think Deadpool 2 is as good as Deadpool 1, which wasn't really that Agreed. good of a movie either. Um, you know, it, a lot of people like that series and a lot of people like Logan. So, you know, two two characters who are left off with a lot of goodwill. Um, um, we saw how that affected Guardians last year too, though. Like it opens 114 million, and um, you know those characters are absolutely beloved, and it had legs because the movie was good. So mm-hmm. you know that's going to play a factor here immensely. Um, I was going to say because this is the only Disney cinematic release, like as far as the Marvel stuff this year, um, people have such a fish brain memory that I think they'll be hyped for it anyways especially mm-hmm. closer to because otherwise the last thing they would have seen is the marvels and according to the box well, they didn't numbers, see it at all yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think right? i think there's there's some play too where it's like oh yeah i'm burnt out but deadpool could like make fun of the burnt outness like it it's clearly going to be making fun of time travel and multiverses and stuff um mm-hmm. there's rumors about it being a deadpool kills the mcu type plot um, not the extent that where he kills all of the characters, but he might kill the Fox characters. Um, and that could be really funny. And people would be like, hey, I'll isn't, let. Isn't that what I'll they said about the cool. Suicide Squad game as well? Kill well, the Justice yeah. League. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> funny. Just kill everybody. Yeah, yeah but, but what uh, if they only kill the characters we don't like? Mm. Um, um, I, okay. I did have this. I don't like any of them. I just forgot all of them existed. Right. <laughs> that could be a fun game. Like in your ideal Deadpool film, who does he kill? Who do we in not want to see again? Ideal Deadpool movie. He eliminates all of Phase Four and Five except Spider-Man: No Way Home, Guardians of the Galaxy Three, and Shang Chi can stay. And yeah. his own movie, if it's good, and if so, if he can kill all of that and eliminate all of it from canon, I actually think that everyone's still excited about the MCU a little bit. I uh, this, okay, two things. So I was watching some live streams yesterday, and there were some people talking about how when he's fighting in the woods, it's the same woods as the first Avengers movie. Yes. So they were kind of the speculating, second one, you mean? like the yeah, second, Age of yeah, the second, yeah, 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 the yeah. intro to um, uh, Ultron. Kind of speculating, like. You could probably do Iron Man and not have Robert Downey Jr. there and just have him like toss on a voice line that he does in like one day. <laughs> People would fucking um, lose their minds. That's they like would. Video yeah. Game yeah. Character. Actually, it's like can... do these default lines for us, please. Yeah. We'll pay you a hundred million dollars. Exactly. Uh, um, to piggyback. It off does that. hold up at all. <laughs> I agree. It does hold? Did you mean it holds that? up? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I'd allow I'd allow Dare uh, not Daredevil sorry Deadpool to go into uh, No Way Home and just shoot 
Doctor Strange in the head as soon as he is introduced, <laughs> dude. God. So, you guys I remember how, like, all of so last year, there were rumors that, like, Iron Man was going to come back or they were looking to get Captain America back and, like, nobody really dispelled, like, Robert Downey Jr. nor Chris Evans really dispelled those rumors. So, given the age of Ultron set, I think, ideally, they'll probably bring them back in, like, a cameo, like Bagface said. Uh, with a pre-recorded line, kill them off. And then that way they can reintroduce all of those characters because they're what sells the merchandise. I'm, yeah, I'm when... now thinking of a really bad joke they're going to make with Cap saying language. And then uh, <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool's just going to go on a ra rant about language. Uh, <laughs> this is making me hate the movie. It hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> also, um, I feel like he, the, the ending of this movie will be like, um, he's going to kill the whole universe. I, th I think that's kind of what Foggy, like in my brain, I've always thought like the reason that he did not give a fuck about phase four and five or whatever, the last two phases is he was probably like, yeah, do whatever you want. Secret Wars, I'm literally going to delete everything that you've done so it won't matter and we'll start fresh. So I feel like that's probably going to be the ending of this movie will lead into that, I would assume. Yeah. Because it fixes yeah. every plot hole, every bad character that didn't do yeah. well, you can just disappear if they get rid of the TVA, I'm going to be hyped. Let's yeah, go. that would be great. Make this convoluted w. shit go away. Um, there's a reason why it works in comic books. Like comic books are niche and they're really dense, and there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of history and a lot of canon that's not canon that is canon, and like uh, that's it's not for mass consumption. Um, so uh, uh, it just doesn't translate well over to movies. And uh, like uh, I just. I read comic books like I have comic books on the shelf back here and they're about some uh, about the multiverse. Uh, you know, they're like Avengers storylines, but they're like it fits the format uh, when I'm watching it in a movie. I, I don't know. I have different tastes. I have different requirements uh, to enjoy it. And I just check the fuck out like I just don't care. Mm -hmm. uh, so they if they're going to use the multiverse, which they clearly are in this movie, I wish they would use it to fucking erase the multiverse. That would be great. Yeah. Just make it a big bang event and just everything collapses. And then we start anew. He used the stones to destroy the stones kind right. of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder what Feige uh, or no, uh, it was Bob Iger during the shareholder thing. He was talking about um, how he's going to, but what he wants to do for Marvel is stick to characters that people know, you know, the safe franchises. Yeah. What does that mean? Does that mean moving forward with the X-Men? Uh, like, obviously those guys have to come into play, but does that also mean bringing back like Iron Man and Captain America or like versions of them? Probably. I mean, this is a guy who only discovered that video games existed last week. So I don't think he has the most expansive understanding of what draws audiences in. So it probably will just be, yeah, let's bring Iron Man back. Everyone loves him. Oh, but yeah. it'll be difficult for them to completely destroy everything, won't it? Because they've got already in the pipeline, there's the Captain Falcon film. Um, and yeah. there's, there's another one like, as well, which I can't remember which one that is. But like, so they are still moving forward with these newer iterations of the old characters' monikers. Um, I can't see them doing anything which would disrupt that too much, but bringing the X-Men, bringing the Fantastic Four through seems like the obvious easy win. Whether they put it in a Deadpool film is another question. I think they they might be silly enough to try that. It might even work. It's silly enough as an idea to work, but uh, I, I just, yeah, the, as soon as you get to the, the sort of the dream scenario of wiping out every single timeline, save the one good one, you just think oh, that's too much of a good idea. That They'll never do that. It would be lovely if they did, but they're not going to. Someone just said that Iger is to entertainment what Biden is to politics. And that's so right. That's, that's, that's so deep funny. philosophy right there. Uh, uh, dude, his, uh, that shareholders meeting was so stupid. He's like, oh, yeah, I want to get into uh, video games. And it's like, you had video games. You made them. And then what does he yeah. do? Re what does he do to reenter the video game uh, market? He just buys a giant Part fraction of, Fortnite. of Epic Games. It's like, OK, cool, man. Can you like make your own things, please? You guys made good games. Just do it again. Well, no, because in Fortnite, like that's what he's doing is instill like the yeah. idea I would think is to instill Disney in the minds of the next generation as they're growing yes. up. Yeah. So and now I, there's I a giant know. part of Disney in their lives when they go online and play Fortnite now. I don't even know why he would have to do it because they already had deals with them anyway. Um, like they there's like every Star Wars character is already in 
uh, Fortnite. Every Marvel character is practically in Fortnite now. So buying it, he's just like, like I don't even, what I don't even know what he's cooking here. Like uh, you've um, already got like I, everything. Is it just going to become Disney Fortnite now, like a like a Lego Fortnite, but with all the Disney characters and the, f the map is just the uh, like the uh, the uh, the why can't I think the theme parks? <laughs> the map of Fortnite becomes the theme parks. You know what? That's what I was imagining would happen. I mean, they're actual real life theme parks are losing so now much money. Now that I money. say that out loud, that's kind of cool. I don't like yeah, it. Disney, Disney World, world. Fortnite, big so virtual like, Disney World. Yeah, and it's that, like you know, Ready Player One, but with like the Navi from Avatar in it, which you can that, kill, which is going to be really good fun. Right. Yeah. Um, you know what? So I, 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 go cook. I, I'm down for this idea now that I say it. <laughs> I think they're looking to develop a new product with Epic Games because they have their own store as well, right? So they can monetize off of the exclusivity because they have that Fortnite base already. The other thing, too, might be is because like they were disastrous at managing the Avalanche software, which did those Disney Infinity games. Oh. So I imagine they also just want to make sure that like get in the same vibe that WB kind of was with all the DC games before well, let's back pre 2018 we'll say. Mm -hmm. So and Epic Games also has been I don't know it's been it's been up and down in recent years as well in terms of like revenue and player base. So I'm thinking there's a there's a bigger <laughs> business plan that will be revealed in time. <laughs> Uh, I, it's, it's pretty obvious to me, I guess, when you think of it from like a business aspect, which is like building things and making new things, new games and shit takes time and Hard. Mm -hmm. time does not make stock line go up, but buying Epic games makes your stock price go up very fast. And that's all he wants. It's like stock go up, line go yeah. up. If line That'd be a up, temporary be a boost, job. though, because there yeah, used to be that line from yeah. Milton Friedman: "If you put the federal government in charge of the Sahara Desert in five years, there'll be a shortage of sand." I think there's a, an equivalent line for Disney: which, "If you put Bob Iger in charge of Epic Games in five years, there won't be an Epic Games anymore." Yep. No more Fortnite, kids. I'm sorry to break it to you. I just <laughs> saw. Um, so I'm reading out: Epic Games is 40 percent owned by Tencent, that yeah. Chinese conglomerate, yeah. which is pretty insane. How much did Disney buy? It was like it was a, it was yeah. wasn't it like one point something billion? It was a it was a billion or so, I think. What, what percentage is that? I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna guess like fifteen to twenty. It's a one point five billion dollar stake, which is. What stakes mean? Just, I don't know. <laughs> like investment, basically. Okay. Okay. Gordon Ramsay would cook the shit out of it, dude. That's what. It <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. I can't find a percentage of. So what's how the, much is Epic Games stock worth? price? It's, yeah, math. No. Three thirty-two billion. So they bought like, mm. not that much of a about percent. three like, percent. They made an announcement over three percent. Wait, no, that's about, not three percent. Yeah. I'm stupid. No, Wait, no, no, that is, um, that is ten percent ish. Oh, that's ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's still pretty considerable. Sizable, we'll say. Yeah. But yeah, if they, I, I hope they just make games with the Unreal Engine because Unreal Engine is just the best engine. Because a bunch Unreal. of a bunch of these like uh, Amazon games bought the Lumberyard engine. That uh, that engine is so terrible; it's not good. And now they're trying; they're going to be making the Lord of the Rings MMO on this engine. It's just not going to work. The engine is terrible. It's it's also a new engine, so game developers have to relearn how to make stuff in this niche engine that only Amazon uses. People don't want to do that. They just want to just do Unreal. Easy, Does, um, easiest decision of my life. Was it, were the Spider-Man games or uh, the, the Star Wars games, are those on Unreal Engine? Um, uh, Spider-Man games are. Okay. The, uh, let's search. So I always, like I also wonder if this ties in. Yeah, if this ties into because there's an Iron Man game in the works. There's a Black Panther game, uh, a Captain America game. Then Wolverine. there's the, all the stuff from Insomniac. It sounds but, a lot like Disney's already involved in video games. Then uh, yeah. Bob Iger, like Joe Bob Biden. Iger's oblivious to his own company. He's like, hey, I found <laughs> out that video games exist. I kind of want to break in. Oh my God, he is Joe Biden. I might be a white boy, but I'm not stupid. You know, these, these video games might catch on. Yeah, 
Like, Dude, you know, in 20 more... years, he's going to know that TikTok exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Fallen Order was made in Unreal Engine 4. Okay. What about Survivor? Unreal Engine 5. Interesting. Let's, let's go yeah. back. Let's go Battle EA Battlefront. What were you made in? Fucking Microsoft Paint. <laughs> suck shit. God. I love how they made the game good and then they quit. <laughs> well, they made uh, the classic mistake of making the game bad and then fixing it too late for anyone to care, which is a shame. I was like, uh, yeah, I've, I think I've still got. No, I've got Battlefront 2, I think, still on the Battle PS5 somewhere. Which Battle is just. Is fun, but... Yeah, but uh, it's okay. But every time I yeah. look at it, I think, oh, I have really fond memories of playing the original Battlefront 2. That was a really good game mm -hmm. back in like the mid 2000s. Why can't you be that good? I mean, you look better, but really, compared to everything else, gameplay, like dynamic, like ev mechanics, everything about it is just, yeah. Uh, I guess, <laughs> yeah, that is. I, I'm just thinking, like, with all the, the microtransactions the and everything already through Epic Games as like biggest sellers. There's a lot of money mm -hmm. to be made there. Yeah. Also, I know uh, EA said they're not. I don't think they're making any more like Battlefront games because no. they lost the exclusivity deal, and then they complained, and then they were like, "Ooh, I can just make Apex Legends and make money from that, and I don't have to share the revenue with Star Wars." Who is making that? So. Um, that upcoming uh, Star Wars Outlaws? Oh, I think it's EA. Oh no. No, 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 no. Star Wars Outlaws. That's coming out this year, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Dude, cowboy dreams come true. I can't wait for the game. I hope Just it's wait, good. Just wait, yeah, you say that. Oh. Wait for them to ruin it. Oh, it's Ubisoft, so doubly wait for them to ruin it. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, dreams ruined. Behind the Division, which was broken at launch the first one. Second one, nobody even bothered playing. <sighs> I just want to be a cowboy in Star Wars. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Can I just get that, please? I think you'll find it's a cow girl in Star Wars. In it is, yeah, Star Wars. female main character. And she's a next cool to droid. Like, I don't know what perm she's got going on in this poster, but it's not the haircut I would have chosen in the very <laughs> far future. Um, At least yeah. she's not that. There you go. At least we can Denim. give her that, right? Well, there is that, yeah. <laughs> Do you think they put as much work into her ass as the people for uh, Stellar Blade did, though? That's the Definitely important question. Because they've set the new bar as far as how good video game asses look, I think. Yep. Man, I saw one of the, the screenshots or a shot that was revealed a couple days ago, and it's just her bent over, and you can see between the cheeks, and you can see that little tiny G-string just running up <laughs> between the lips. I was like, Wow! The no wonder people are excited about Stellar Blade. <laughs> I uh, see full on Fupa right now. Game design. I mean, people talk about it as though it's this really deep, complex thing, but all you really need is just a fat ass on the screen. Yeah, Apparently, TNA. that will just get people flocking. I don't know anything about Stellar Blade besides the, the, the ass discourse. So there is that. Um, yeah, I don't know if the Star Wars Outlaws person is going to have a. And it doesn't look like it from what I'm looking at here. It looks quite flat, but you know. <laughs> She called someone a puta in the in the trailer. I remember when it was a, a, a puta. Yeah, it, uh, it's like uh, Mexican for was it bitch? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, why in a galaxy far, far away are you just you know slinging slinging Mexican slurs at people? Yeah, That's but Dave Filoni's in charge now, and he calls Ahsoka uh, a Ronin for God's sake. So apparently, you, yeah, we've given up making even vaguely alien sounding noises. If it's foreign, it's alien, and this is not racist. Trust me. <laughs> mm. Asian culture. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Alien. Uh, where were we? How did we get well, on? So, oh. Somehow we got onto. Oh, Puta Dead from is Deadpool. Spanish for whore. Nice. Oh. No. <laughs> Dude. Why Dude, are they doing better. that in Star Wars? Dude, the wiki, the Wikipedia has a whole list of like Star Wars slurs and swear words. Just use those. Those are so cool. Have you have you gone down that list? It's one of the no. craziest lists I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, what's the one for uh for balls? Let me find it. <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. Right. Duolingo I... with actually Andrew. Yeah. 
<laughs> Learn I still just Star like it. They, they called Wars. Max Rebo's band Jizz. That's the genre of music that they play in they, Return they of the changed. Jedi. Is is actually Jizz. Well, they changed it, they but changed you know it. it will be forever known as Jizz from mm-hmm. for me. I think. <laughs> Sounds viscous. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real creamy sound they've got going on. There. <laughs> Um, what were we talking about? Uh, well, so Deadpool, we were talking about Disney. Disney. Um, it's, we can understand. We went the, we went multiversal, and so obviously we've got. You know, this is the long term plan for Disney as well, right? When they actually create their digital metaversal theme park in the Fortnite engine, this is basically what it will be. We'll be able to, you know, seamlessly transition from Deadpool to Jizz. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah, Apple Vision Pro and Disney once they once they link up. Partnership. Oh yeah. god, no. What a what a dystopian vision that is. <laughs> you, I can Wait, live my can entire life in fucking Disney World. Uh. After did you guys Apple talk about that shit last Disney. week. I found it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. The Star Wars slang word for balls is chubies. Chubies. Chubies? H O O B I E S. Chubies. What's wow. oh, hold on? What's uh then? What's the the Star Wars lingo for dick? For I Shaq? Look. Okay. Fine. What the fuck are we doing here, <laughs> dude? This is lore, all right. We're doing cradle the Shaq. <laughs> this is you know? investigative right. journalism. While you do your investigative journalism, Bagley, did you have something you wanted to pressingly say about the Apple Vision dystopia goggles? Oh, we did cover dude, it last week, but you might as yeah. well. I I'm just terrified. I don't even think people realize like. There, there will be a, this is what I envision, okay? I, and I know it's 100% coming. There will be a day when most people wear that shit on their face and like ads will just exist everywhere that are perfectly catered yep. to you. There won't be like billboards anymore. They'll just be big green screens and you'll just see everything that they want you to see. And I'm so sad already, dude. I'm so tired. Well, think about it this way. This is like the intermediate between this, like uh, getting us used to it and then Neuralink happening because then Neuralink is just going to, you won't even have to put anything on, man. It'll just show <laughs> up behind your eyes, all the ads. <laughs> so there's uh, the well, in between getting us used to it. But I did see like a clip of someone sitting on the toilet. Mr. And Brown was- is very excited by the idea. I just have to throw that one in. <laughs> I read that in his voice. <laughs> Sorry, Max, I cut you off there, Karen. Oh, you're good. You're good. Um, it was a guy sitting on a toilet and he's looking out over a mountain. And I'm just wondering, like, you can you can literally go and shit in the woods right now if you wanted to. Camping exists. Um, so I, I just <laughs> I'm just I'm amazed at the le- like the places that people are choosing to go and like it's so easy to just go and do them already without having to spend what like two thousand dollars is it for the, the, the headset? Oh no, it's three thousand US. That's so much. Thirty five hundred. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. Thirty five hundred US for a virtual shit with ads. That's insane. Yeah, it doesn't even have games yet, right? Uh, no, and a lot of games. apps aren't even like there is no YouTube app for it or anything. You have to go in the browser. Um, yeah. Yeah, because no one wants to make an app for their competitor. So. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> the this, Oculus is so much better, and it's three hundred dollars. Just get that. You're a silly bitch. You know it's not better. <laughs> it is better. It's got games. That's all I need. But was it manufactured by suicidal Chinese people in a factory? <laughs> That's I don't think so. probably. Are you serious? probably yeah, just probably. Facebook? <laughs> just Facebook labeled on it. <laughs> or sorry, Meta. Those uh, nets are strong. They're not going anywhere. Don't. I worry. would not yeah. mind watching Marvel shit on my face and not in a theater, though. You know, if I didn't have to go to a theater see this and i could just I, I would do that that's not the worst future yeah i mean why pay to sit in a giant empty room watching marvel when you can just do it from home exactly for three thousand dollars for three thousand dollars but they make so many of eventually it'll make its money back in like you know 15 years time it'll be worth it and i i am not buying one of those things no sold that i am an ai i don't need more ai in my life it's um that's just dystopian <laughs> Was um, was terrify me. <laughs> terrify me. They gen- I put one on once because um they I used to work for a nonprofit and they had one of I can't remember what model it was. It was one of the Oculuses, but they they had like a you could take a virtual tour of all of the 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 provincial park in the area and it was quite I felt nauseous afterwards. It was weird. They scare me. 
But they are sort of democratizing rich people's existence. I don't know if you have this in, well, of course you have this in America. What am I talking about? But in London, obviously we have the Shard, which is the biggest building, I think, in the country. One of the biggest in Europe. Um, and you can go all the way up to the top and you can use a toilet, which is kind of like, it's just all glass walls. So you can look out over the people you're shitting on if you're rich enough. <laughs> and <laughs> now we can sort of <laughs> democratize that. Right? You can just, now it's only $3,500 to get that experience sitting on your own toilet um, <laughs> with no chance of anyone with binoculars <laughs> sort of looking at you. That experience is priceless. <laughs> how, much, how much is it to do that? Out of curiosity, do you have to pay some obscene amount to do that? Do Do you think I'm the kind of rich enough person who wants to go all the way up a giant skyscraper just to shit on people? Oh, actually, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah it, I, that's exactly like something you it, would yeah, do. Yeah, it kind of is. It's the only thing on. that stops me is just the effort of getting to London. Otherwise, I'd do it. I don't know how much it costs in truth. Um, I'm assuming it's quite a lot, but I don't. If know I how come much. to London, I want to do that. It's <laughs> <laughs> on my list of things to do. Oh, let's see. Movie is gonna see the building. He's gonna be like platoon. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I gotta go off. <laughs> gotta go do some real quick. I need to use the bathroom. Oh my fucking god. So it's eight hundred feet up in in the air. It's on the sixty eighth floor. Um. Oh, oh, it's all black on the inside. That's kind of nice. Okay. Um. Two billion dollar investment. Oh, okay. It's twenty five pounds for adults and nineteen pounds for children. Wait, that's it. That's it. Holy fuck! We're going to London, boys. Already? Oh, okay. We're all exactly. doing it. We're going. Honestly, Hold the on. train ticket's more expensive. You know but what? Like... First shit's on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the pictures though, and it looks like so the toilet is by itself, but there's urinals and there's more than one. So you'd be pissing with someone else on top of London. Holding hands. Yeah. Just Let's kinda... do an entire You know, with the right episode. person, that could be really meaningful. <laughs> Let's do a piece of <laughs> I blame um... Deadpool for this, this incredibly thing. <laughs> this has just basically been an entire tangent section. So is there anything Everybody else to say about it. Deadpool? Um, apparently, there was supposed to be a different trailer that was... Uh, to come out during the Super Bowl. I have the picture somewhere. Uh, but it wasn't going to involve the TVA at all. It was going to be like Deadpool living in some like alternate reality with a wife and kids and struggling. And then it kind of cuts to a little bit of action. And that's it. Which, to be honest, would have actually given me more hype for this. This this entire trailer or movie reveal was actually a hype killer for me, if anything. Really? I don't know if anyone else felt that way. I didn't really like... It was just all right. Like the amount of hype that's been building, like Disney quote unquote leaking a bunch of stuff for like their advertisement. Like for normies, it's probably like, <gasps> but like, I don't care. They should. Oh, great. Yeah. We got a nice back shot of Will Wolverine. Oh, nice. But that's it. <laughs> like, um, and it's also a shot from something that we've seen basically fully leaked online as well. Yeah, yeah which was really an odd choice. Like, they have to know that everyone's seen all of the... Like, there's like a 4K resolution yeah. fucking image of him in full costume. Oh, yeah. So I don't understand why, you know, what, what the mystery's about there. That's what I mean, pre all pre-strike footage. So I'm, I'm actually really wondering, like, what if they're still going to be able to meet the timeline. Because I was looking up... So the script wasn't finished by the end of 2022. Um, I think they started filming in spring 2023, if I'm, or end of 2023, if anyone knows. Um, uh, it was definitely, they were doing it in the summer, at least, because it was before the strike started. So Yeah. Okay, so I feel like there are probably a lot of rewrites to this, because it wasn't announced that Hugh Jackman was going to be involved until last year, I feel it was, right? No, before they started um, shooting and everything, it was yeah, yeah. it was announced. I feel like it was fairly recent. So I, much I happened think, last year. I think he's had Hugh Jackman signed on for the third Deadpool since pre Fox Disney buy. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was or like it was around that thing. time when it was announced. When um, did the acquisition go through? Twenty twenty two? Yes. Twenty twenty one? No, it was there, nineteen or twenty, I thought that it finished. Oh. Before or after COVID started. Yeah, no, it was, um, well, it was after Avengers Endgame, uh, but not too long after. I think it was the end of the year because okay. they started March, that acquisition in like March 2017. 20th, 2019. Okay, Whoa. perfect. Yeah, there you go. 
we're old. Um, uh, there's a there's a thing too where like they cannot use or they can't uh, use certain recast. characters. Be yeah, they can't yeah. recast, uh, so they won't be using characters unless they're the you know old actors because they're until next contracts. year though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I um, film off all this year and then bring a new cast. It, yeah, in does right. anyone yeah. know if it means they can't recast them? Or they can recast, but they can't, like, the movie can't come out until then. Because that changes a lot. Um, but I just I would assume sure it's about the movie? It. Like, well, because that the means movie? they could cast now and actually, like, get them in a two, you know, I think 2026 is the date uh, or the year where the contracts are up. Didn't they already start casting for X-23 or Young X-Men, whatever that movie was? Didn't they reveal that cast last year? I don't think so. No, I don't remember any X -Men news stuff. other than the new mutants movie. <laughs> That's the only X-Men movie that gotcha. I've heard of. But now. Yeah, that one, that one. Don't we have and a, don't we a have Fox a movie anyway? Oh, okay. the new that mutants. Was that was, yeah, that was a, yeah, that was, Fox. that was a train wreck. That's all I know. I could, also I didn't even see... watch it. Yeah. Wait, it uh, came out. Yeah. It's, it's been out. Yeah. You can watch yeah, it on it, Disney. It's, <laughs> it's horrendous. Go check it out. I didn't even know. When did it come out? I don't know. I forgot. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm four years late. Okay. Oh, uh, I could also it. see, like, Ryan Reynolds fucks around enough. I could see him introducing a new cast of X-Men in this movie because he's mm -hmm. going to be universe hopping and just, like, explicitly breaking the fourth wall, being like, we can't say this person's name. But, like, I you know that, who they yeah. are. Yeah. 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 But that would be clever. Do you really think they're going to be that clever? Because I, I, I like that idea. That's not that's not a bad idea. I hate I don't think it he's, he's hungry enough. I think Ryan Reynolds wants that billion dollar mark like he does. really fucking bad. And he knows that he can and he's probably pushed every single lever that he can to get to that mark. Like if yeah. someone's mm -hmm. like, hey, they, they show off the new Cyclops in this movie. I'm going to see that shit three times. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> this is a worse idea. Just because, like, surely the guy's been abused yeah, enough. Oh, they are. Point. I think I, I know. Confirmed. He's back with uh, Ian McClellan or whatever. He's killed like he's been killed like four or five times as Xavier. <laughs> Can we just end. leave him alone? He died <laughs> in really. <laughs> he's like Kenny, dude, from South Park. He is, dude. At this point. <laughs> he died in Logan Well. Leave him alone. He's basically dead in real life. I mean, like, how many times do you have to kill a corpse just for it to stop appearing on oh, your screen? Jesus, dude, I want to see him and Magneto together again, though. That'd be cool. I want to see that the, together. Who's the, what, the cast of the first class. I liked them. I liked get, that cast, too. Get oh, that McAvoy. cast, too. Yeah, McAvoy. All them. Yeah. Good cast. They were all okay. It was just, uh, yet yeah. again, trying to adapt that Dark Phoenix storyline, which is just mm -hmm. the, the jinx yeah. of the X-Men universe, apparently. Because I remember the first of those films being all right, and the second one, I th from what I vaguely recall, was okay. And then it comes, comes to that one, and it's just, yeah... Uh, what's her name? Sophie Turner. She can't act, and you really shouldn't make her a main character. She was good no. as like a bit part player, but as soon as she's in front of the camera the whole time, also the story was absolute garbage. But yeah, what is the the Dark Phoenix storyline? I don't know what the X Men like the comic book version is. Woman secretly evil. That's it. <laughs> Woman secretly super. Powerful. Yeah, Jean Grey is um... this fire dragon came from space and hit her. Yeah, it depends on what version of the movies oh. you're talking about, too, because there's just like <laughs> yeah. they've done it so many different ways. So, like, but like, yeah, what's the, the canon version to the comic books? Not because I've seen the movie versions and they just they didn't make much sense, they were terrible. So, what is the version <laughs> that they're trying to adapt in a film? It's like a space alien spirit, right? And they're in uh -huh. space, and I think it flies through Jean Grey and like fuses with her consciousness, okay, and like unlocks her like blocked abilities so she's like chat's gonna powerful. someone in chat's gonna kill us for this yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chat, if you're a lurker speak up now what is just it? like oh, oh these is. fucking people Dude, the comments are gonna be like yeah i don't read comic books so you can't put me at fault <laughs> i feel like uh reynolds also like as a producer has this way of getting stupidly famous people to be in his movies for free like uh mm -hmm. like free guy mm -hmm. The there's like a Chris Evans cameo, and I'm a hundred percent sure that he did that completely for free. 
And he was just like, where are you? We're going to film you right now in a day. And they just like set up <laughs> in a coffee Reynolds shop. Ryan Reynolds is the Mr. Beast of Hollywood. He, he, <laughs> dude, I think he actually is. Like, Yeah. That's good. So I wouldn't be surprised if there is like some cameos that seem like they should be impossible for the budget that this movie has. But it's because mm. he's probably pulled some French strings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't know. I feel like a lot of these actors probably, especially like Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, they probably don't want to come back because they fucking worked in that machine for so long. We're like coming back for mm-hmm. Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. You're like going on set to fuck around for a day. Like it's not, you know, it, there's like yeah. a lot less pressure. It's probably a good atmosphere. Oh yeah. Brad Pitt, Brad, I got a represent uh, major. Brad Pitt played the invisible man. <laughs> in oh, yeah. that was there's only one movie. shot of him in the entire movie. <laughs> yeah. That kind of shit. Uh, yeah. I sim for Ryan Reynolds really hard. Cause we're from the same city. So, I like Ryan Reynolds. He's charming. He's got charisma, like on and off screen. So, I'm okay with. I'll watch whatever he's in, just because of how he is off screen. He doesn't seem like a piece of shit either. No, he doesn't. And he bought a cell phone company to make phone plans more affordable for people. So, I like that. I'm on board with it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Sorry, cynic. It's okay, dude. <laughs> He'd get you vodka, too, because he owns that vodka brand. So free drinks. Yeah. <laughs> vodka yeah. No, it's gin. Aviation gin. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Yeah. I don't fuck with gin. That's That shit's Aww. gross. It tastes like dry balls. <laughs> Sorry. What is it? Jai Chibu or something? What the fuck was that word? Chuba? Chubies? Chubies. Chubies. Dry chubies. Chubbies. Chubbies. <laughs> <laughs> Some gin is okay. It's just like it's the cheap, like Gordon's gin, which you need to mix with things. But nicer gins are okay. Like yes, like, Bombay gin's pretty yeah. nice. So you know, Rhubarb right? gin is an interesting one. Interesting. I'll look into that one. I don't I had drink gin that once with Coke, and my friend, my friend was like, "Hey, drink this." And I, this, I was like, "This is disgusting. What do you drink?" And he's like, <laughs> "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> And then the, I just stuck to Dr. Pepper for the rest of the night because all they had was gin and everyone was just drinking gin. I'm like, guys, stop. Is that how it started? The Dr. Pepper addiction? Oh, no. That that started during the womb, bro. Like, <laughs> the womb. I've been at this got, since birth. You got fetal Dr. Pepper syndrome or something. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, why is Michael Myers back? The, the viewers just ticked up the 666 and Michael Myers appeared. It is the best what? shot in that, that entire movie. That's is why. him on the phone. Wait, what That's movie is show. that? Halloween. Halloween. Michael Myers the on the phone. One? No. Original. We're slowly oh. accumulating backgrounds over time because the production value is not super high here. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about the Canadian actor, Michael Myers. I'm like, oh, why is no. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I looked at the screen. <laughs> There's a guy named Michael Myers. It's crazy. <laughs> we have the Batman. Ah. We have Godzilla. Mm. An old Godzilla. Classic, classic. Michael Myers and a zombie Mickey. Yeah. Oh. So far, one of, one of these days question. we'll actually do production values, but until then, <laughs> it's until just the backgrounds you can't actually see, um, which is, is, is great. I'm all for that. Um, yeah, one day, Chad, we'll show you the backgrounds without us on <laughs> one day. Uh, anything else? Yeah, anything left to be said on, on the Deadpool? Not that we've actually been talking about Deadpool at all, but anything left to be said on Deadpool, or are we moving on to whatever's next on the list? <laughs> I just uh, hope it's fun. eagerly awaiting a second trailer. I don't think this first that trailer too. did the movie a lot of justice, so we'll see what the second trailer does. But I, I saw that there was a Secret Wars little Easter egg in there. Uh, when he's in the desert, you can see a Secret Wars comic book, and uh, when he's in that <laughs> TVA room, <laughs> when he's in that that uh, that giant TV room, starts doing sign language. At the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Blink that once. Should be allowed. <laughs> Um, when he's in that TV room, like one of the screens shows him um, as- accepting that award he got last year as Deadpool. Um, so it's going to be a <laughs> lot of a lot of wall breaking. I'm assuming. I can't wait for uh, Movie Cynic's next uh, video where he puts uh, like She Hulk, and- Quantum Mania, and uh, <laughs> uh, what's the next one? Uh, Secret Wars on that on those TV panels. <laughs> That's such a funny game, game that I sent you. Yes. Uh, yeah, Vex sent me um, like a portion of that too. <laughs> 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 now it's like Lofty's uh, getting some notes for sure. 
Yeah, I saw that. I, that I scrolled past that. I'm like, this is a cynic clip, <laughs> like, right? Like this belongs somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, the next problem. topic I wanted to talk about was uh, what's coming out in a few days or two days. Uh, Madam Web. Um, oh, Mommy yeah, Web. They're not even. They're not <laughs> even doing a like. Like usually movies when they come out, they have a release date and they actually come out the day before and they have like early showings and it'll still be like three or four showings. They're not even doing that for this movie. I can uh, as far as I can tell, I live in a major area and there's no showings early anywhere. Um, really? There's also a review embargo that I that I could see. Um, there's also a review embargo and uh, the star Dakota Johnson has been kind of shitting on this movie. <laughs> Um, and it's been fucking hilarious <laughs> to watch. Um, so I just wanted to see uh, if anyone had any thoughts on this so far, because the movie's right around the corner. Well, I'm already depressed out. about it. Yeah, is like, it, I, is I, it Friday? Friday's the official the date? 14th, isn't it? It's Valentine's Day. I thought those were the early previews, technically. No, I could have sworn the actual the official day. Yeah, because my, my singing teacher asked me the, the weekend, do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? So, yeah, on, I do. I actually do have plans for Valentine's Day. I have to go, go see, see <laughs> fucking Madam Web on right, my own. Yeah. Oh my god! What is the best? same, dude. That's what I'm doing too. <laughs> oh dang! Wait, what? Why? You see a singing teacher though? You have a singing coach? Yeah. Can you over that. Oh, that's can so you, cute. Yeah. Can you sing us a tune, please? <laughs> Absolutely not. I have to be very drunk to do it in public. Oh. <laughs> We're not in public though. You're behind a camera. Behind an avatar. There you go. That's not the point. I've got a reputation. I trashed my reputation on my second channel, eventually. There's, there's some stuff on there already, but there'll be more stuff if I ever have more time to do things that are not video editing, which in theory I will. Then there I would embarrass myself over there. There is a video of in like 240i, I think, is probably the resolution. Yeah, it doesn't count as a face reveal because you can't actually see my face, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I, I my thought, Valentine's yeah. Day sorted. So okay, Madam Web is, is already making things depressing. I thought it was February 16th for some reason. And the, that's weird then. Yeah, that I could, because Wednesday is the earliest I could find it anywhere as well. Yeah. Huh. Uh, well, it says February 12th in Westwood, whatever the, what the fuck does that mean? But uh, the rest of the world gets it on the, on Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, great Dakota, present. Yeah, uh, Dakota Johnson has just been shredding this movie. Really, uh, she's been brutally honest, like with um, her thoughts on filming the movie, uh, the production as a whole. Um, she's criticized uh, the way that she actually had to do her job uh, acting against blue screens, um, and there doesn't seem to be any sort of confidence from the studio in this movie whatsoever, which makes me question, like. Who thought this was a good idea in the first place? <laughs> because it just never seemed like a good idea. Sony never um, has good ideas. The the <laughs> blue screen thing, though, I think that was taken a little bit out of context because she was talking about how it's it's weird um, acting in front of a blue screen or whatever. So that's telling me that most of this movie is going to be on a backdrop. So it's going to be lots of effects and CGI for some reason. Was it like two hours too over a two hour runtime? Oh my goodness! This movie does yeah. not need to be. It's that a long, long movie. movie, yeah. So I think she was criticizing that, but I find it even funnier that she does this movie and then she goes and says in an interview last week that the industry is terrible; it plays it too safe. Like all these companies are playing it way too safe with what they decide to, but like fund and and release, um, which I thought was. <sighs> I said, I'm looking but... at my local cinema. There are more people booked in to see this than there have been for, I think, any film I've seen since. When, but when, when yeah, there's quite a lot, like a surprising number. Not a majority of the cinema, obviously, but not like, you know, three people. There's a good 20 or so in there. Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's it, I guess, Day. Yeah. Well, yeah, they are I all booked in, in groups of two. So that's oh, sort yeah. of revealing. <laughs> Except for uh... one, there's a, line of, uh, there's a line of four people. So I kind of wonder what's going on with oh. them. 
<laughs> you should know what you should do. You should find what a, like another seat that's only one person, and then book a seat right next to them. No, 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 even better. No, I, I'll find I'll find a seat which is two people, and I'll book a seat next to them. <laughs> and, I, <yeah. laughs> and then you'll pull out your notepad and midway through, and they'll just be like, "Who's this guy? Who's this loser?" And then you're like. Hmm. I have 100k subs on you. Start, you start doing your review at them while you're in the movie theater. Yeah. Just start pitch out something to them, <laughs> like your ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Uh, yeah, I saw that mine had. Uh, I booked my ticket last week, and there were already four or five people with seats there, but they were all alone. They weren't in couples. Y'all motherfuckers already got tickets for this shit. Yeah, I just it's peace of mind if I can just <sighs> get it done ahead. It's mommy of time. web. Of course I'm going to go see it. <laughs> yeah, it's Mommy Webb, dude. Sydney Sweeney on screen? Amen. Do you think there was a cut where we got topless Sydney Sweeney and they cut it and that's why Dakota Johnson's pissed? She's like, just playing it too safe. <laughs> I would yeah. be pissed, too. I, I would be pissed. Maybe he was pissed that me, she was Me an uninspired also... reviewer, rioting in the streets. Dude, I've, I've watched that Hot Ones interview every night for the past, like, three weeks, man. It's <laughs> what? Dude, it's perfect. <laughs> it's fucking perfect. Dude. <laughs> Dude, when they oh my, when they were said, "Hey, we're doing this one," Twitter was on fire that day. Oh, oh bro, I love Twitter. Do we have any uh, story predictions or how this is going to tie in? Because it was revealed today, I think, or yesterday, that there's going to be some cameos involved from the Spider-Man universe. Oh, which oh, God, really? Yes, which one? two oh, two specific cameos. They they didn't reveal who. Mm. Which that, Spider-Man universe, though? Like didn't Garfield? Say. Didn't oh. say. Just that it's going to be two Spider-Man characters that you've already seen in the universe before. It's gonna Venom? Be like no, no one gives a shit about Venom. Venom. No, yeah. Venom, Venom, Venom definitely could be one. Morbius? Morbius oh, is up there? Oh, yeah. Amen, the, brother. The, the funny thing is, if it's uh, anyone but Venom, and no one gives a shit about Venom... Then no one gives a shit about anybody else either because he's the most popular character. Morbius. Well, yeah. The only ones it could be are from the Tobey Maguire ones because this takes place in 2003. What? Wait, madam. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, yeah. wait. Yeah. This is oh. already way too confusing. Yeah, this is, takes uh, place in two. 2003, because okay. Madam Web is supposed to be an older woman, right? So I guess it's so that they can use Whoa. the. It's like oh, the I see. Oh, this is a setup movie. Yeah, this is um, crazy. The plot. Two thousand three. So that's why it can only be those ones realistically. I'm uh, sure like I remember this, this coming up. Someone was talking about how they, they'd had an original plan for this film, and they wanted to have. Was it that they wanted to have Toby? Uh, sorry, uh, Andrew Garfield, Spider Man in it, but then they realized that they couldn't because the timelines don't match up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember so. that. Yeah. Wait, why the fuck do they actually care about canon there? Like, really? Out of all I, I, the times that like these movies just yeah. break canon, even in movies broke, I like, they fucking break. They don't yeah, give a they, shit. They broke No Way Home's already completely broken like multiverse rules, and that with like with Morbius bringing uh, Vulture in, like why do you yeah, care? It's going to cause right because it's going to cause a uh, cataclysm. Like it's going to oh yeah. According to the rules set in Doctor mm -hmm. Strange too, like it, it, that universe is fucked now if he stays put. So um, it just doesn't the TDA even. TDA should be all over that shit. Right, like none be all of this matters. <laughs> yeah, nothing matters anymore. No, nothing mm -hmm. matters because they set up rules and break them within like their own movies. Like Spider Man No Way Home, the even though I really like that movie, um, the the fact that they say like uh, uh even the rules they have for the villains being there, it doesn't apply to all the villains there. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it's so fucking stupid. It, I'm <laughs> Like they they just don't care about canon so uh, ever so I don't know why they pick and choose when and where it matters um, yeah, because uh, Andrew Garfield Spider Man would be awesome to have in this series. I'm assuming um, they're probably going to bring Toby in, which will probably break the very small amount of canon that he had in No Way Home when he said he hadn't fought with the team. They're probably going to have CGI Toby Maguire not take off his mask and do something and then leave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's going to be a little rubber CGI man the entire yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah yep. um, I'm predicting it's probably going to be some, it's probably going to be a female from one of those Toby Maguire ones. And Ooh, just because oh, she, she lost Kristen a lot Dunst. of weight recently, maybe it will be Bryce Dallas Howard's Gwen I was going to say, yep, Gwen Stacy. 
Damn. That's Andrew Garfield, though, isn't it? She'd be no, oh, so Gwen. Emma Stone was Gwen Stacy in the Spider Man ones, but remember oh, in Spider Man yeah. 3, Bryce Dallas Whoa. Howard played her in a very brief cameo. Because <sighs> Spider Gwen, remember, she put on all that weight during the last Jurassic Park movie, which was a 2021 or 2022, I think that came 22. out. And now she's dropped a ton of weight, um, some of which you don't fully see even in Argyle. So I'm wondering if she had to drop weight because maybe she's was Argyle good. Over. No, it's fucking terrible. Uh, Don't come on. <laughs> how, how do you fumble, man? You had you had Dua Lipa. Come on. You know you how had, uh, and, she's barely and, in the movie. Her and, and Henry Cavill barely in the movie. You, um, had, you had peak of both male and female, and you fumbled it. How? Damn, you know how, Jedi uh, Brooks. <laughs> fucking based. She wasn't, though. Like, look, you. there's she one scene where... Argyle. She's lying back, right? And you can see the full figure from the side. The out the wardrobe just frumps her up a lot. But you can see she's not up. that fat. Well, was okay. it wasn't part <laughs> of her character listen, like she was listen. like this weird, quirky author, like nerdy author? Like she's not supposed to look like an athlete in that movie. Are, are we gonna act um, like every single one of us, every single person in chat, if Bryce Dallas Howard was like, take me to the bathroom, we'd be like, oh, <laughs> You're chunky. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I just hate gingers. Yes. Absolutely. Listen, I, just, yes. I just hate okay, gingers. Platoon, right? you don't count. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're gay. You don't count. You're both over You're here. a fucking cartoon. She's There's nothing to do with that. Though. I just have high standards. That's all it is. Okay, I can't be talking about you guys. Go, now. go, go hang out with, uh, with Timothy Chalamet. All right. We'll handle the women here. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, I have a poem mm. actually that I requested you read. Out oh loud. no, no, please what? don't. No, no. I, I, yeah, no, <laughs> you really should. absolutely nope. not. No, you got to. I, I, I saw it come up on Twitter, and I thought, you know, no, not even gonna bother. That's gonna be. That's gonna make me cringe to my fucking testes. No. <laughs> you know what's gonna do it? Hey, someone super chat right now to get him to do it right now. You got a peer oh, pressure. Oh yeah. Uh, also, I got um, early screening tickets to Dune Two. Ooh. And I have a feeling that Denis Villeneuve is going to bring some of the cast because he showed up to the. Oh, yeah, I went to like an did. IMAX screening of Dune, and he showed Ooh. up. So uh, if I see Timothy Chalamet, I'll I'll smack his ass for you, Platoon. <laughs> <laughs> he will sexually assault him. <laughs> I'll assault him. I'll take for you. that. I'll take that out for you. No, no, he it's, it's, it's been contaminated by that that Kardashian creature or whatever the fuck the thing was that he was dating for a bit. So it, it's it's gone. It's over between us. He's he's lost me forever. Um. <laughs> And he'll never recover from that. So, you know, I'm happy. <laughs> he'll never recover. How was IMAX Dune? Oh, my God. Was it dude. life-changing? Okay, like, I did not like Dune. I did not get the hype. I, it was pretty good. And then I saw it in IMAX, and I was like, wow, okay, I understand. This movie is... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like what Star Wars fans think Star Wars is. That's what Dune is. In my brain, the whole time I was watching it, I was like, oh, this is what people think Star Wars is. It's actually good. With like real world building and a story and characters and it feels lived in, it was mm. oh my god that movie is mm -hmm. so I, it 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 even kind of like fucked me up more when you see the dude that made the movie and then you watch the movie and you're like this was made by a human this is impossible it's an impossibility it's like magic that movie is insane dude hold on mm -hmm. I have a question then how do you compare it so I just watched the 1984 Dune for the first time last oh, week yeah I've never how seen does it that. compare to that I, I've never seen 1984 Dune I will never see 1984 Dune yeah okay there's Dune um, 2021 I, exists 1984 okay. goodbye it was a terrible movie but I just like that one line which was so dumb he who controls the spice controls the universe <laughs> um it kills me that is that in the in the 2021 one I haven't watched it yet no I don't think it is, is it? At least it's not, if it is, it's not delivered in a way that makes it stand out. Gotcha. Um, no. <laughs> I don't remember it? too much about the the, the, David, the the Lynch Dune film, the 80s one is, I, I I think I have seen it. I might even have seen it a couple of times. I just remember it being sort of sickly trippy, like not good trippy, just bad trippy. Mm. And I, for I that reason I've it. blocked it. Those sets, like the effects and everything, the makeup, oh, yeah. phenomenal. I think most of that would still hold up today. But everything, just Sting couldn't even save it. Sting in his little shiny metal pants couldn't save <laughs> it whatsoever. No, I, I'm looking forward to part two. I don't. I, I kind of like June is one of those, those interesting ones. Having watched it, and it was it was very visually impressive, as has been said, um, and it, it it's so obviously competently made as well, which makes it really stand out from everything else that's around it. Um, but on the other hand. 
do you remember anything very much about, say, the characters or the dialogue? Are there any relationships that really Duncan stand out? Duncan Idaho! Are the other... Yeah, but, again, competently performed. There's a <laughs> lot of stuff that's in, in the Dune film. And I, I'm kind of wondering about this, and I, I'm hoping that part two sort of rectifies the problem. I think it's a very pretty but quite empty film. Um, it, certainly when you compare it to... Like, because I've read the books as well, and I was thinking, yeah, I, I understand what's going on here because I've read the books and so I can make these associations. I don't think the associations are very often made in the film itself. I think it's really trading off of how brilliant it looks and it's giving the impression of depth without actually introducing very much depth. That I, is I partly like, because it's like part one of two and obviously part two has all the important stuff happening in it, but I wonder whether it's uh, going to stand up in the long run. As a person that hadn't read the books... It, to me, it felt like um, it felt like the depth was there, but it wasn't explicit. If that makes sense, yeah. Like it, it, it always felt like instead of lacking depth, there was depth that I wasn't seeing. If that makes sense, it's kind of like very, very riding the same line. Where like, yeah, the depth isn't necessarily there, but it came across in the performances and like a lot, a lot more upon like i think that was my third time watching it so it's kind of easier to follow character dynamics and, and stuff like that and it it felt a lot heavier uh i guess watching it again but i feel like there's there's a good amount of depth i just think he probably i don't know probably had like a five hour cut of a script that he wanted to do that had all that depth and wb was like <laughs> yeah no no. <laughs> yeah, we won't even give you money to do a fucking third one yet. They haven't even greenlit the third yeah. one yet. Oh, I what thought that was confirmed. Fuck? Nope. No, still not confirmed. It took them is... a week after the first Dune came out for them to be like, okay, you can make a second one. Well, I guess stupid. that kind of, yeah, that kind of gives credence to what um, Dakota Johnson was saying about studios playing it safe because by from what Dune looks like and even if you look at its subject matter, it's very much something that you don't see any company putting out a lot of these days like sci-fi i feel has, has been played very safe over the last decade or so especially yeah is that, which is, is that... crazy because i don't think a lot of companies really see superheroes as sci-fi but that's what they are it's just a gigantic sci-fi mm. universe which is like yes yeah, so people really yeah. like sci-fi if you do it properly mm -hmm. Um, by the way, Mark Ruffalo just announced that he's coming back as the Hulk in Captain America uh, Brave New World. Oh, fuck off. Uh, Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby! You More think he'll be in Dune? Or not Dune, Deadpool. There we go. Dune. Dune. Deadpool? I don't know. Uh, probably not. It makes sense, though, if they're going back to the universe and we've already seen the Age of Ultron winter scene where Hulk was like, you know, be good, good guy, big guy, you know, go. Sun's go getting smash, real low, you know? big guy. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think we'll see that scene in there just uh, based on the setting? We probably will. But uh, I mean, I don't think Mark Ruffalo is going to show up because in like that version of the Hulk is just Hulk and he just goes mm, the entire time. So fair. They fair. could just they should just they could just reuse his audio from all the other Hulk uh, like the uh, lines that he's used in the past and just use those, you know, remix it a little, make it, a, make it sound a little like deeper or more original, but not, they're just going to use. Yeah. They're just going to make it. Mm. Hulk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's all he's going to say. Will his son be there? Or will they have forgotten oh, no. that the son exists? Bro, wait, can they kill his son? <laughs> that would that be great. Terrible haircut. Oh. But then Please. that goes back to the, the thing about, you know, who in the ideal world would you have, Deadpool kill in his new film, and now like Kevin Feige is canonically inside the MCU, so he is fair game. You could actually kill him, God. and then he could retire. I'd be up for that, and then you can kill yeah, kill Hulk's son. Um, that would be good because we don't people. even know who he is. I would not be surprised at this point if they just forgot that he existed because he's there for two seconds, and mm -hmm. that's it. We've never heard or seen from him again. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he never came back. But if he's gonna, if they are gonna bring Hulk back, then they are gonna have to explain what exactly the fuck happened there, and who he boned, and how, Still and where. Waiting to like, can I, can I get some closure on the celestial that popped out of the ocean and was so large <laughs> that it would change the There's fucking a celestial orbit in the of the planet? Like the <laughs> Earth spin would change because yeah. that thing is sticking out of the Earth, and no one's addressed it. Everything should be there. Should be tsunamis, earthquakes. Like floods, we should be closer yeah. to the sun, but no, nah. dude. 
Eternals gave me anxiety watching the last third because I'm like, you're done. As soon as it pops out of the crust, you're done. It's over. You're gone. Yeah, the entire right. planet, gone. The atmosphere, gone. You're all dead. <laughs> and then, like, I still yeah. haven't seen the Eternals. Oh, man. That's a movie. Is it worth? Uh, it's a uh, movie. No. Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then the Celestial that just shows up near Earth, like, almost in atmosphere, sucks up the two dudes and then leaves. It's like, that's going to have consequences. That thing's probably more dense than the moon. Fuck science, Damn. dude. True. <laughs> Who needs science when you have Doctor Strange? Ugh. Mm. Portal. I mean, that's the point at which the superhero films sort of stop being sci-fi, I think. It, it's the, there are that weird mix. There are some which are sci-fi, and then you get... Whenever you have the magic systems that come into it, like Doctor Strange in particular, Doctor Strange is fantasy. <laughs> there's, there's very little sci-fi that goes on in there. Yeah. Um, but... It's kind of it's been a bit of a plague on science fiction. I think this sort of long, steady decline from you know, Foundation, then through Dune, which is a response to Foundation, and to Star Wars, which is a response to Dune, which is a response to Foundation. That everything's becoming much less conceptual and sciency, and much less world building going on. And it's gradually got to the point where science fiction, actually, yeah, superhero films kind of count as science fiction, and they're by far the most important and popular ones. That they make the most money. Uh, nanotech that gives Tony Stark whatever the fuck he needs in any given scene. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Okay. That's that's compelling science fiction. Good stuff. I think that's one of the reasons June is so... Like, it didn't make a huge amount of money. Um, we were talking about this on Browns last night. Like, June, it made money, I think. But it didn't make a, very much. It was like a, a 400 million on a 150 million budget, I think, something in that field. But it still talked about a lot, and it still gets people's interest because it is, or at least gives the impression of being serious science fiction, well, of which there's very little around. It was simultaneously released on HBO Max, so yeah, that's actually like, eight. yeah, like you don't know what it's, um, like what Dune 2's box office is going to be because of that. I think that's why they looked at it as a success, is because like the budget was actually pretty reasonable, and so it actually broke even uh, in theaters. Plus, like it, uh, you know, it did its job on HBO Max. Yeah, yeah so I subscribe. they, they would, that it was quite a success. They would keep those. Yeah, I'm sure that they saw like a gigantic bump in subscribers uh, once they dropped that on HBO Max, and they're probably like, mm. okay, they count that into into how much money it made for them. Mm. Which the only way that they would greenlight a second one is if it made them a good chunk of money. So well, it's either that or it's it's the usual thing they do with streaming shows, which is they they effectively bake in two to the contract, and they just don't announce it until after the first one comes out. Um, because th th I think because yeah, Mr. Rage was on Browns yesterday. I think he was saying that they, they announced Dune 2 before Dune 1's box office was known. So it wasn't a response to its performance necessarily. It was it was more like, I don't, for some reason, Velma is the comparison that always comes to my mind in this. It's like, it gets season two and everyone says, it's, oh, it's only because you all hate watching it. It's like, no, they just they always plan season two. Yeah. They just chose to announce it to make it look like season one was better than it was. Wouldn't be surprised if something like that was is the same with Dune. Certainly, because, you know, why greenlight half a film, which effectively is what Dune Part 1 is. So you think that th the third one is definitely greenlit? They're just playing it close to the... I don't know about the third one. I think Part 2 one. definitely was baked in. I don't know about the third one, because the third one would have to move over to the next book, which is it's a different story. It adds some complications. Messiah, it's not... Yeah, yeah. It's um, There's some interesting stuff in Dune Messiah, which doesn't really add up with everything that happened before it. Is that the um, one where uh, he turns into a worm? No, that's much later. Um, uh, he, yeah, G, G. Masara is... It's, an, it's a really interesting book. It's probably the closest in, in quality, I think, to the original book. But it just like it introduces a bunch of new races and types of people, like, like face-shifting, shape-shifting people who, who were introduced in the second book, and you think, well, they're incredibly useful. Why weren't they used in part one to assassinate the Atreides? Because they would be so good at that. Um, yeah, there, there's a few things that don't quite add up in that way and it sort of begins its spiral out of control but it's still a really interesting book but no it, part two for june because june part one is june part one it is just the first half of book one i don't see that they would ever have said yeah let's make half the book and maybe the second <laughs> half the book it fucks me up though because then why not take the approach uh like lord of the rings approach where you just have the entire cast like yeah we're shooting back to back like it's just logistically so much more of a nightmare to have to book all the cast again and like because it took them a good amount of time like i th i assume it was probably going to be safer? greenlit either way like i don't know if it's i feel like it's safer just to shoot both because you're you're gonna end up saving money if you shoot them both back to back mm -hmm. uh, 
I don't know. Warner Brothers is Warner Brothers, so they'll yeah. be as painful as they can. That is a good point. Um, Dude, I you... think modern day Warner Brothers definitely would just do the would do the oh we'll wait and see um, <laughs> approach just because that's Warner Brothers. But like, didn't Warner Has... Brothers do the original Lord of the Rings? Or no, that was New Line Cinema. Or yeah, no, yeah. they were in they were involved in the Hobbit. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Did, I now realize anyone, that uh, that completely undermines everything I just said about, you know, why would you start a project and not release it? <laughs> ah, it's Warner Brothers. Of course they would do that. I take it back. Has anyone watched Snowpiercer, the TV show? No. no. Any good? Not yet. Wait. It's, it's pretty decent. It, it's not like the best, but it was something that I could binge, so I put it on. Mm -hmm. And I realized it ends after season three and there's no actual ending, so I looked it up. And they had shot and edited and completed the entirety of season four, and WB refused to release it and just killed it and put it as a tax <gasps> write off. Why? <laughs> Dude. People be complaining I, about Disney. Warner Brothers is worse than Disney. They are the worst. I think they're the worst company in existence. Whatever. Oh, yeah. I think they are there. even Warner more Brothers. poorly mismanaged, but they don't hold the properties that Disney does. That's what yeah. the difference is. Yeah. Disney ha Disney fumbles iconic bags. Warner Brothers just fumbles every, every, bag. every bag. And it's so like the yeah. whatever uh John Cena uh cartoon movie based on a uh, Roadrunner uh, the uh, yeah. action movie. Yeah, what's yeah. going on with that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. They no shelved it. It shelved it. Yeah. yeah. No it's, one bought it. Damn. It's sh it's shelved permanently. Like 70 million dollars, I think. Is so we're never going to see it. Find. Nobody wanted to buy it. Why uh, just release the movie dude Just mr like, put beast it on is streaming. gonna buy that shit oh i'm 100 <laughs> I, I i could see that happening mr i bought warner brothers movie and made it better oh dude and it would be <laughs> 10 times bigger than it ever would be because mr beast would promote it a trillion views <laughs> instantly i bought wb and employed a hundred homeless people to run it and now it's actually <laughs> functioning better <laughs> <laughs> And the thing is, it would actually work. They'd make better films. Oh, yep. Didn't, didn't the um the crazy uh, uh, crazy and robot run out little fucking words? Jesus! Didn't it have really good test screenings? So it, did. it, it wasn't yeah, even really poorly good. received. It wasn't like they deleted it from the memory hole because yeah. they thought it was going to bomb. It was yeah, like no, actually, yeah. Th whereas Whoa. yeah, that one did bomb in test screenings, and they released it. It's a very I'm, strange decision. I'm pretty sure Batwoman did better, or Batgirl did better in test screenings than the Flash. Uh, um, Warner Brothers is worth twenty-four billion dollars. It's down thirty-seven point eight seven percent since last <gasps> year. Ooh, ooh. Damn, Warner <laughs> Brothers was worth less than Fox. They're worth I less didn't than that games for for some reason. Yeah, that's wow. that's a because huge Disney drop. bought Fox. It was a bidding war, but I think it started out at like fifty or something. So who buys Warner Brothers then? Because I feel like that's Apple? probably coming up. Apple, you think? Uh, maybe. Just, I know Apple I wants Universal. to really get. They really want to get into the 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 movie industry, right? They they've set aside the money for it. They're ramping up productions. It wouldn't surprise me if they and they have the money to spend. They do, but I think the reason they've been reasonably successful at the moment is that they haven't spent it on precisely this sort of thing. Yeah. Um, this comes up periodically. You know, there was all the talk about well, maybe Apple could buy Disney Lucasfilm, for example. And like I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think the reason Apple's entire business model sort of is the opposite of that they've doing they've done some fairly good interesting productions tetris was really good foundation was really shit um there's some mid-range stuff silo was kind of mid to good like, they've done some interesting things and they are buying increasingly and hosting say disney content which you can now get on apple tv to increase the range of content on that streaming network mm -hmm. if they were to go and massively splash out tens of billions on another studio though I think that's exactly the kind of decision that if they made it, you know, if that's their mindset, they wouldn't be the company they are today. I think they're a bit too yeah. savvy to do it. I think even though they don't, they haven't been super innovative and just kind of wait for other companies to like come up with ideas and then perfect them. Like I think acquiring another company is almost like admitting defeat with Apple in a sense of just <laughs> yeah. like, we don't make anything anymore. Yeah. What, what got Disney in trouble? Oh yeah, buying shit, let's buy them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're much closer to the Netflix mold, I think, than the Disney mold in the way that they produce and content and, and approach business deals. You know, quite a, a number of big, flashy originals, and then increasingly they're they're moving into the back catalog of other networks, which are struggling just to host that content to populate the network. Um, but they're not going out saying, "Hey, here's you know fifty billion dollars for Warner. 
because uh, that company is you know not saddled with debt or anything like that. Um, let's buy it. Why not? That's a that's a Disney move. Absolutely. Yeah. Buy now and worry about how you pay for it later. Buy now. Can you imagine if Disney <laughs> bought Warner Brothers? Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> They yeah, we get can't, that DC no. Marvel crossover, baby. I was gonna Let's say go. we get uh, <laughs> we finally get that at least. Uh, so. I, re I remember those those uh, those rumors about like Kevin Feige talking to James Gunn. I don't know if oh, those God. rumors are still a thing, but please don't do that. <laughs> I love Keep how people separate. make those rumors when like they were business partners and probably friends for like over a decade, and people are like, "Whoa, they talk!" Like, yeah, they're <laughs> they talk humans. <laughs> like, what? guys, they talk. <laughs> It's confirmed. <laughs> it's practically confirmed. Yo, that Supergirl cast, though? Oh, that is some prime shit. I don't know if you guys saw that. It's like the uh, the younger uh, version of the blonde chick from... Uh, Millie Alcock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, Honestly what? I... Alcock? Alcock. Okay. Alcock. It is all the cock, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yo, that She's cast Alcock, is baby. crazy. Dude. Honestly, I am not into it. I thought the other no. one was better. Dude, she is a dumb good actress did you watch yeah. uh, house of the dragon no i haven't watched oh you should dragon. you need to watch oh, oh. Very good. listen she's, if, she's really I, good in okay. house of the dragon but that's because house of the dragon gives her a really good character to play and it's true. the only thing i've seen her in so i don't know if she's like that good as an actress or if the script was just that good that anyone in that role could have done it but she's fine can i watch I can, take that. can i watch house of the dragon without watching game of thrones yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. all right then i'll watch it because i'm not watching game of thrones. don't watch game of thrones i don't care don't, don't waste your life like i did yeah. <laughs> oh wow! It, it's not even worth it for like the earlier. I haven't seen Game of Thrones either. Like the early seasons aren't even worth it's, it. Or no. I heard I mean, it's like if you like blue really yourself, good. like if <laughs> yeah, if you like, like climaxing like so hard and then right at the end you just get spit on and they take an Uber home. That's what that's what watching Game of Thrones feels like. Wow. No, I think that that yeah. might even be more fun. It's it's like it's the most <laughs> ruined of all the ruined orgasms. Like you build up, you edge for so long, and then it's yeah. just nothing. Nothing. And that's what Game of Thrones does. And then they spit on you and send you home. So is you don't even get like, the, the joy of the release of the thing. There's no just... cutoff point that's worth it. That's the issue with Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. There's, gotcha. there's no point where you could stop I mean, and be it, like, fuck, that was good. If you don't mind the story getting absolutely wrecked, then the, yeah, like season one is really good. Season two is good. Season three is pretty good. Season four is pretty good. It's good entertaining television. It's just then you've got like everything that's been building up for four whole seasons progressively gets destroyed from season five onwards and then season eight comes out and you can very rarely see anything that's going on on the screen because it's so dark but when you do see things it's just a catastrophe so house of the dragon on the other hand is a really good and it works as a standalone and there's a second season coming out anyway and hopefully they won't ruin that so if you're going to watch any of them i'd probably recommend that it's like it's okay. like if instead of Endgame, we got Venom versus Carnage as the last <laughs> movie. Oh. That's what it feels like. It's like that level of oh, bad. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Like you okay. got Infinity War, and then it ended with Venom versus Carnage. That's that's the kind of, yeah. Okay, it's, noted. Yeah, I've been uh, meaning to watch Game of Thrones, but I just uh, just don't care enough to start it finally, I guess. No. But, uh, so the other casting for... Uh, Supergirl was supposed to be Meg Donnelly, and I think she's kind of better. Meg Donnelly. What's she been in? I don't know. Let me check. Oh, zombies? Uh, yeah, she's been on a lot of Disney original stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cute. She has more of a Supergirl look, I think. Because Millie yeah. Alcock... She looks good, but I don't. I don't know. I don't see her as Supergirl. Millie Alcott just looks like a blonde white version of that Spanish chick that made, the, was in the Flash. What's her name? Sasha Kale or whatever. Really? Put them side by side. They look almost yeah. identical to me. Uh, I think it's the cut, the haircut that yeah. makes them look similar. But like, lighten up Sasha Kale. Put long blonde hair on her. It's basically Millie Alcott. <laughs> this is what you would look like if you were white. <laughs> this is what exactly. you would look like if you were black or Chinese. Where's that guy? We need to get him. <laughs> Raceify Billy Icock. We need to know what she looks like. Black or Chinese. I'm sure that the Bing AI generator could do that for you if anyone was interested. You can, you can just AI her. Make her white. See what she looks like. Yeah, but they, 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 yeah, I know. They just look the same to me. So I was like, it's just like how, because uh, someone put those two pictures together and then Henry Cavill and the the new guy, I can't remember his name. Um, 
but they all, yeah, they just look like similar versions. It's all the same people, basically. I think you're just a lady racist. <laughs> mm. racist. Good way of all y'all it. ladies look the same. Uh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, actually. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking Hollywood. Literally every dude looks the same. Like Glenn Powell, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling, Chris Evans. They're all the same dude. <laughs> Which, if anything, gives more credence to the idea that maybe they're all clones. You know who I mix up all the time? Idris Alba and Woody Allen. <laughs> 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 they look just the like. I get confused for Idris Alba all the time, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> How did we, we get here from... Yeah, well, we what? were talking about Mad and Web, Web, but... Um, um, that's that how much like interest we have in that. Ago. Can we can we do box office predictions for Madam Web? We yeah. can. <laughs> Just for fun. Why not? What's the budget? Um, oh. I'm going to say five pounds. Does anyone want to raise me five pounds? <laughs> can we get One that in American, Bob. please? Um, like six dollars, <laughs> I think. Uh, Madam Web budget. Hold on, I'm going to look it up really quick. Look at, I'm trying to find it well, right now. While you guys are thinking about that, I. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck they're even doing with this. Uh, I'm just going to call it the Spider-Verse. I know the Spider-Verse is like the cartoon series, but whatever. It's Sony's Spider-Man universe. Um, I don't, they don't have a definitive Spider-Man. Um, the movies are not like well-liked, at least with the MCU, like Iron Man was beloved. Um, they don't really have anything in particular. Like I guess Venom is enough, but what else do you have? Morbius? And uh, that's creepy ass Jared Leto. Vulture, <laughs> technically. Let's Craven. Craven's gonna. All the ladies are gonna oh, be in the theater for Craven. Fuck. Craven comes out this year. Yeah, August. So Holy is this the ladies' shit. year with the Sony Spider-Man universe then? Because it's like Madam Web to draw them to the theater, relatable superhero, and then they have like uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson to draw them but back. But again, out. that that doesn't. Because it's a different year, so it doesn't make sense, right? So I, this is an eighty to a hundred million dollar budget. I think it will at least break even with a I, budget that low. So like uh, two hundred million, two hundred. Yeah, yeah it's Valentine's say, what's Day. The, what's the you know marketing budget on this? Probably like seventy five million. It's probably not like in the know, six it's been, years. It's been like most a lot of places. Like I've seen it. A, a more lot. billion dollars. That's what it will make. More billion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the memes coming back, but for women this time. I mean, it's just, it's really just shocking because the Sony clearly doesn't know what they're doing. They took the Morbius meme seriously and thought people wanted to see the movie again and put it in theaters. They, they wasted money and made it bomb harder. What is the deal that Sony has with, say, Marvel in order to get those? Because they, they renegotiated some things to get Spider Man into the MCU, right? So how does it yeah, work? Yeah, and it seems really intertwined because Sony's going to start putting their movies on Disney Plus now. So I think it's uh, opened up, you know, a much bigger deal than just uh, sharing Spider-Man. Wait, um, does Madam Web do the multiverse thing? She does, yeah. right? Madam you Web think, is the multiverse. Like, you think she, this movie is, is going right? to MCU itself? Like, are oh they going to tie them together? They don't even have an established universe to MCU itself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Madam Web in the comics is like the mother of the Spider Verse. Yeah. Um, so, like, she's the reason everyone has spider powers is because she threw all the spiders in different dimensions. Um, of all the plans to be, have, to I, could, spot, I could completely. What kind be of plan wrong is that? I, I'm going to throw spiders across the multiverse and hope that one of them bites a kid. <laughs> They're per they're the protectors, platoon. Why would you, I do the same thing? You, you don't just. I like, do the ah. same thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I'm like, ah, I need to protect the multiverse. I'm gonna throw a random spider. You question out Adam universe. Webb's morals. You question mine, dude. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Is she a bad guy or a good guy in the comic? <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't. Mm. I didn't go that far. She's supposed okay. to. I mean, she's more of a good person, but um, but she's more of a neutral party supposed to be like an objective gotcha party. so what is her what is her relationship then to peter parker she throws um, the spider at him yeah <laughs> she's the reason he got what bit talking about? Go. open the portal <laughs> most Chuck of my knowledge of Steve. madam web just stems from like like basic shit from the 90s spider-man animated series and i remember he was like spider-man prime 
And, mm -hmm. you know, basically she was sending, telling him what he has to do because she can like see the future and shit. She's clairvoyance. Um, and I'm sure someone in chat's killing me right now, specifically me for fucking all this up. Um, but that's, that's like the gist of it. You know, it's, uh, no matter how wrong I might've just gotten that the movie's probably not going to be very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, maybe there will be a tie into Craven because I'm just I'm reading her. Wikipedia. I'm sure there will be. Amen. She's gonna so, she's gonna show Craven up in the could shadows. be 2003 too. A team. Technically, it could be. Yeah. yeah. So it says in the issue Grim Hunt, she's attacked by some random chick and Anna Cravenoff, who is the first woman to take the name of Craven the Hunter in the comic book. She's the daughter of Craven the Hunter. Mm. Um, who kills her, but before she dies, she's able to pass her powers of precognition as well as her blindness onto Julia Carpenter, who looks like one of the chicks that like Sydney Sweeney might be playing. And so she passed on the power of blindness. <laughs> uh, yes, as well as You're her right, kid. So she, she passed on her precognition and her blindness to another woman. Yes. The yin and the yang. It's, uh... Echo is happening then. Hold on. This is all Echo Dude. all over again. Okay. Um... And then she's resurrected by the Scarlet Spider, uh, who is, is grown chair? in a lab by Miles Morales and is a clone of Peter Parker. What? Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why are the yeah, comics the, so uh, confusing? <laughs> okay, yeah. So the clone saga in the Spider-Man comics is oh, yeah. convoluted, to say the least. Uh, ben, oh, um, the Ben Riley stuff? Ugh. Yeah. Uh Yo, if we Man, get I Riley kind of cameo. wish they would already MCU this Sp Spider Verse before it even gets off the ground because it's not so good. You know, just kind of shake it up and throw it against it's the crazy wall. Crazy and... that you'll say to get off the ground, even though they've released like six movies. I guess if you count the Spider Man movies in the Sony universe because they're technically yeah, Sony I suppose. movies. Like, man, they're like eight, nine movies deep into their See, cinematic universe, and it's far... just crawling. It's not good. Like, are we yeah. starting from Far From Home, or are we starting for Tom? Homecoming, right? Homecoming. Yeah. Civil or War. Homecoming. <laughs> homecoming, yeah. Are we starting yeah. at Homecoming? I think yeah, so. Homecoming. You would, right? Then you have the two Venom movies, and then you have Morbius. Morbius. Peak. Um, Peak. <laughs> and then Madam <laughs> Web. <laughs> and now I think Carnage. Have... Not Carnage. And, and uh, Craven. Craven. Yeah. We have Venom 3 coming as well. Oh, and Venom, Venom 3. 3. That's 9. Is oh there anything God. else? Yeah. Oh, and then uh, Spider-Man Four, but that's not which Tom Holland yet. is bouncing around, ignoring. Yeah. Got a big announcement, guys! I'm doing a fucking play in London. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> oh <laughs> is yeah. That what that announcement was? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a huge announcement. <laughs> what a I'm big doing a dick play. move! <laughs> that's <laughs> so crazy. G. Everyone was like, "Oh my God, Spider-Man." <laughs> Oh, no, it's Yo, London. Honestly, I, I got to respect Tom Holland. Every interview I see him do, he's just like, I fucking hate Hollywood. That shit yep. sucks. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. he's he really wants real. to be a dad as well. Just settle down, get married. That's all he wants to do now. So I don't blame him. Hey, you got that Spider Man bag? He's yeah. just done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not 30 yet. He's yeah. Um, How long I, until I, Zendaya leaves him? Oh, they're, <laughs> they're locked in. I think they're locked in. Mm hmm. Isn't there he, a, another dude, villain mm -hmm. they're making a movie of, though, in the Sony? He's got to have that good dick to keep that around that long. I'm Look just at saying. all the exercises he does, though. He's a... Yeah. Uh... Oh, um, he's got no, that London was, dick. There was the Ella, uh, the, the movie about... <laughs> oh, what was that? Wait, God, Platoon, the... it, do you find Tom Holland attractive? No. No, he's not, so. he's not twinky enough? He's pretty... He's I, too I, big. I he's too big. Also, I don't think he can act, which is it's kind of, it doesn't really work. Um, and he has an annoying once. voice. He um, can act once. Okay, uh, technically, the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies don't count as part of the Sony Spider-Man universe. So, oh God. so far, the only released ones are Venom 1, 2, and Morbius. Oh, fuck. That's We're on a worse. great start, boys. That's okay, a great well, trio. Has anyone got their predictions yet, then? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, we were doing that. Um, oh, box office? A more billion. Because, and, and, yeah, and just remember, Morbius opened to $38 million. And this is before, <laughs> like, this is when we were trying to convince everyone superhero fatigue could be a real thing. 
And it's gone really downhill in the past year since thirty-eight million dollar more more billion dollars. <laughs> I think this will break even just because it's Valentine's oh. Day. And uh, as clearly expressed by one of the panelists here today, people will just go see it for hot chicks. So, but who Amen, takes brother. their date to see Madam Web on Valentine's Day? Who wants A to lot keep of people, that date apparently. afterwards? <laughs> Listen, Sydney Sweeney, man. I mean, if you're trying yeah. to cut the She's ties got with assets. someone, that's the best fucking way you could. Really subtly asking for a divorce. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and see. Let's go and see Madam <laughs> Web, honey. <laughs> uh, Morbius only made 167 million worldwide. Which... What about the second release? <laughs> I think it lost itself. <laughs> it lost. <laughs> it like, I made like two dollars. <laughs> that was so funny yeah. that the internet convinced them <laughs> that the movie did well. Uh, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 210 million. That's my guess. What? That's a that's yeah. Okay. Wow. That, was gonna be break even, though. that would be the break even point mm. so uh, vex maybe. you said it would break even are you also saying 210 million yeah i'm saying break even yeah uh i'll go 175 oof 175 woof um hang on i Is, is Cynic just He's looking up? <laughs> like, what is right. the box office predictions <laughs> of this film? And goes slap bang in the middle. I'm only saying that because that's what I was going to do. No, I, I was looking at yet. the Marvels. I was uh, what that final box office was. Looking at Blue Beetle. Um, dude, this isn't even going to hit 100 million. Yeah, I was going to say like 90, 95. Whoa. 95. $1, yeah. Bob. That's what I'm I thought saying. I was. I thought uh, I was scary. Screen Rant has it predicted. For fifty six million to one hundred and one million dollars by the end of its run, I would. Uh, that's why I said ninety five. Oh, ninety five. They don't know about 100. the Sydney Sweeney poll, bro. They don't know. I'm going to give it a seventy five, which is like slap bang in the middle of that prediction. All the trailers the should just be her hot oh, ones. Interview. Yours is seventy five. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for seventy five. <laughs> the last, uh, was it? Oh my god, my thoughts gone. Never mind. It'll come back to me. Oh, the last box, the the early box office, the the pre sales, the opening weekend. I think the last prediction was at like sixteen million dollars opening. Sixteen, oh, fuck, yeah. fucking Holy dude! I might have just overshot with that. 90. Yeah, I think I overshot. <laughs> that was like two weeks ago. Dude, this that thing about to make fifty bucks, <laughs> even. <laughs> oh shit! Well, you know you it's written really down now, money. and I have regal pass. I have carved it in stone, so you cannot change your predictions. So, I'm changing um, to one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> yeah, and it's in fucking IMAX here. Like IMAX oh, ones yeah. are showing. It's yeah, in IMAX. There's, there's, it's yeah. in IMAX here, and I'm going to standard. Fuck that. I'm not paying the pre <laughs> like one dollar premium yeah. surcharge. I have to pay to see it in IMAX. Um. So Morbius, it made what? So it made 167.5 million uh, on the first run. It had a budget of seventy-five to eighty-three million, so about the same budget as this as well. Right, plus its marketing, because that is not rolled into its production budget. Mm -hmm. um, but this was also Morbius. It was delayed several times from an initial release date of July twenty twenty, and it came out March tenth, twenty twenty-two. So I, I imagine oh. that killed a lot of hype as well. And to it be was... fair unnecessarily i can't imagine Matt it was Webb will so be as bad. bad dude um and if it opened this year it would do even worse so yeah yeah you know and madam web doesn't oh. even have i i don't know is jared leto a box office pull at all no 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 his He's only good, good movie his only good movie was when he was an american psycho and he was axed to death hey paul uh, <laughs> dead <laughs> That's his only good role. <laughs> Lord of War. Well, Requiem for a Dream. Dream. Now. Requiem for a Dream and Fight Club. Nope. Fight Club, he I'm had kidding. such a bit part. Do, do people really give him credit for that role? Okay, okay. How about that? Not not that, but uh, that movie he did with Lindsay Lohan where he was the guy that shot John Lennon. What? What? Where huh? he did... ate like tubs of ice cream for like Yeah, he got really fat for that role. Massive uh, for yeah. that role. Yeah. That's I, I stand by baby. The... He's a good be. actor. The he's ben and Gary. He's so weird in real life that he can't sell tickets. That's really he's a weird cult man. I feel like he 
he's a person that is really, really convinced that he is a good actor. Uh, <laughs> not actually a good actor. He's a massive part of one of my next videos. Oh. Mm. oh. Yeah. So this guy is so fucking wild. Have you ever looked I... up like the cult that surrounds dude, him, dude? It's crazy. It's pretty wild. I'm sure he has nothing man. to do with it and doesn't egg it on at all. <laughs> no, not at all. He wouldn't do that. He doesn't come on stage looking like Jesus on purpose. <laughs> what do they do? Doesn't he take uh, all the cult members to a little island somewhere yeah. and he actually yeah. does dress as Jesus? Yeah. No, it's a bunch and of white women. He Did dresses it, it used them to be called like, Epstein. Uh, Island. <laughs> he How bought is he it? not on the list? Actually, he bought it. <laughs> what the fuck? The biggest <sighs> surprise of this year. Did that list that actually Leto drop? Wasn't. I remember a bunch of hype being built for the list, but uh, I never yeah, actually thought. Yeah, yeah, there was. It, it, it was, was already a list that we got like a year earlier oh, that everyone man. was like, this isn't the real list. And then we got basically the same list. <laughs> it's the real list. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, Dallas Myers Club. He was in that. That was a good role. I don't actually think I've seen that. Have you seen Lord of War? That's the only movie I've ever liked him in. <laughs> oh, that was a, yeah. No, I haven't seen that. Too. Lord yeah. of War is pretty good. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yep. Yeah. Got beat up. <laughs> what are you talking about? He was fucking great in Suicide Squad. <laughs> I, I still That's stand by the opinion <laughs> that he would have been a fine Joker if they gave us more screen time of that Joker. That's all. No. No. Mm. No. No, but they Just did. They, they, they gave us more goes, screen time in the Snyder Cut, and it was worse. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to see. That was the only good part about the Snyder Cut. It's like, oh, really? This is a, yeah, this is an Ugh. interesting premise. I wouldn't mind seeing more of this. But then I, I hated every second after that it chat, was by Zack Snyder. Chat, can you hop on Vex right now and just destroy her <laughs> ego, please? <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck. kill this Snyder fan. Somebody mute her. <laughs> <laughs> Have Dude, you read the source material? Snyder... Do you think Snyder wrote the part where he talked about getting a hand job from Batman, no. or like uh, he improv that, that was and improv. Snyder no. was like, "Fucking uh, yes!" Yeah, he's like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> I like that." You're ah. so crazy, dude. Give me more, oh, dude. That's so fucking dude, edgy. That I'm gonna hire you for Rebel Moon Part Two. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that's my. That's not that. <laughs> Zack Snyder doesn't sound anything like that. That's just the voice I have. Dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is dude, this? How hard do you on? think Snyder came when, like, he had Batman saying "fuck"? And how many takes do you think he has of it? He's like, oh. yeah, I need it. I need like 160 <laughs> takes of this. Yeah. Just Ben Affleck on a green screen in fucking oh. Zack Snyder's backyard, just like I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, dude, yeah. say it more aggressive. <laughs> do you want a shot of tea, bro? I'll give you a shot of tea. We'll go again. <laughs> uh, sorry, this, just, what hand job? Annual... I'm I'm lost. What? You don't remember that's, that scene? That that's no. in the scene. That's in the scene. Yeah. I've that's watched it once. Yeah. To be fair, oh. wait. What does oh. he say? It's some of the Hold worst on. dialogue I've ever heard. It's horrible dialogue, dude. It's... Okay. Maybe maybe I was it's embarrassing. Okay, <laughs> maybe like then, all right. Wait wait. Maybe I was wrong. Because I don't remember anything they said. In all honesty, I was just like, this looks cool. That's all. That's all I was thinking. Watching that entire scene. This that's how. That's what he wants Snyder, you to say. That's how this Snyder looks fans cool. think too. So don't worry, <laughs> guys. This looks cool. Wow, this looks really cool. That's all I was thinking. Yeah, that was it's probably like if Christopher yeah. Christopher Nolan of got Snyder. beat with a bat. That's what Zack Snyder <laughs> yeah. is. <laughs> Rubble Moon is just his corpse just smeared on the screen for two hours and 15 minutes. I'm glad I dropped that script temporarily. I was going to go insane. <laughs> Vex. <laughs> uh. Looking forward to that part two and then part three uh. after that. Oh, God. Yeah, but isn't the part two is the, con it's the culmination of the first act of the plan franchise isn't it so it's part one part two then there is a sequel to part two but it's not like yeah it will be a qualitatively separate film is that right i think that's right oh, I, think so. I actually don't know about that i just know they haven't filmed the third part yet and well, hopefully Rebel they Moon never part will one and two is the is one movie <laughs> and then the next movie will be a different movie like different yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to explain. I don't even know. What, what, ask Snyder next time he's in an interview. His opinion will change on what he's doing. Well, I've been putting off scripting my review on that on the grounds that part two is the culminating bit of the first film, quote unquote. Same. I almost yeah. hope that there is then a part three, because then I won't have to script it for another you know, five years, which would be great because <laughs> I don't want to. Um, that, no, I've been, I've been thinking the same thing, but then I heard there was a third part, so we'll see what happens, but 
uh, little story, just quick thing. Cannoli put that thing on the screen. Um, you know that that Travis Kelsey meme that's going around right now. Him <laughs> oh, screaming yeah. at the yeah. Um, yeah. As soon as that meme Andy. dropped, uh, one of the chats we're all in just started doing that with BA quotes for like a good five minutes. <laughs> 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 my my screen recorded it. It's great. <laughs> that guy has become legend. Honestly. That's so <laughs> funny. There's Turner, someone you actually so much because... so funny. <laughs> There's someone posing as him online though, uh, because he's become so infamous. Oh no, so that's right, amazing. He randomly pops into chats. Yeah, it's a parody account. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> you're at the level where you have a parody account made <laughs> made a few making fun of your every move. Uh, that's so listening tragic. to him talk about this whole comics gate thing though. Uh, oh no, with Eric July and Ethan, what's his face? Uh, that Man was a treat. Snyder? That was a real treat. My goodness. I think I haven't his, even heard any of that. His point was that Eric July owes me. That's basically all it is. That's what, what? he kept going. Who are to. you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, 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 what? I need this tea. Okay, okay. So B A. This is a topic. Is... This is this is a giant topic. <laughs> okay. Because he's a he's We're getting gossip different... live, folks. Right. Here we go. He's an independent. Explain the lore. Right? <laughs> yeah. There's lore so, here. He finally is doing the promotional rounds for his book, and he went on Abomination AJ's channel, I want to say like a month ago now. Oh, yeah. And because BA has just become a guy that debates the Eric July Comics Gate stuff on Twitter, that's all he does. And he says that he's defending people from bullies by doing all of this. Um, that's his rationale. But the stream devolved into just the two of them for like almost two hours, talk, going in just a circular argument. Like, AJ's just is like, okay, I hear your point, but what about this? And he's done this and this and this. And then it just goes back to, oh, but he owes us. He owes us. He should be funding other, but he did fund someone else's comic and the guy rejected it. But he should be doing more for us. That's all his argument was. And it just, then he started getting upset because he's like, people in the chat were, oh, people in your chat are trolling me. Like, they're just saying main, and just people are just like, dude, you're wrong. He said that, like, there's nothing going on. So there's the lore. And now, because of that, BA will randomly appear in chat streams. <laughs> like a fucking ghost. Yeah. So he is a on, goblin. I, I was on a stream like three weeks ago and we were still live at almost <laughs> three in the morning and he just pops into the chat to just be like, oh wow, still talking about me. And we're like, we haven't talked about you this whole stream, dude. What are you doing here at three in the morning? Um, oh, really? And it happened again a couple nights ago. So, That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone in, in the chat who is Absolutely no idea who this BA guy is. The the origin of the deep lore is the Batman v Superman stream on Kenobi Sasquatch, uh, Sasquatch's channel. Yes, so if yes, anyone's sir. interested in in this sterling human being, um, go check out that stream. It was really PBS good fun. Um, and Superman, yeah, or Man yes. of Steel. Man of Steel. That's the prequel to the lore. Oh yeah, it was fun. Yes. It was fun. Uh, um, this what a, what a charming guy. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I I was in like an hour and a half of the man of steel stream uh on Kenomaly's channel and argued with BA for an extent yeah for pretty much the entirety of that mm -hmm. and then platoon did it for the second one which was the batman versus superman i think there were 5 hours out. i think that was 5 hours yeah. <laughs> it was like <laughs> it was 7 a, by the time it finished it was 7 a.m. over here and i'd slightly lost my temper but um it was great fun. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. Fun. Yeah, He's my favorite part so was when he called me an elitist. Right, for having a community <laughs> college degree. It's for yeah. going to community college. <laughs> but community he's become college so piece of shit. Right, he's become so infamous that I just went ahead and made like one of those. You know how you can make channel avatars for subscribers? I made a BA channel avatar. If, you <laughs> if you're if, like you're a paid member on my channel now. Oh, like an emote? Yeah, there we go, an emote. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Words yeah. escape me. Yeah. That's funny. It's a fun time though. It's it's always entertaining <sighs> when he comes up in the stream. Yeah. Yeah. The whole comic scare that has completely passed me by. I just muted. I tried to mute it on Twitter and then I realized I can't really mute comics because you know there's news that comes out of them and <laughs> we run a stream here, so yeah, I can't right. really not pay attention. Can't really do that. But, oh, if someone wake me up when the comics people have stopped fighting over whatever the fuck it is they're fighting about, I don't even know what it is. But as a general I rule. Know. If if the drama is more interesting than the things you're producing, that's probably a reflection on the things you're producing. So get back mm. to writing good stories. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's died down a little bit. I haven't seen it pop into my feed as much because they're they're doing all the the convention to things right now. Oh yeah, they just did the Orlando one last week. 
Yeah. Went from this is how interesting Madam Web is that we went into B. A. Turner lore. I mean that lore is way um, fucking better than Madam Web could that ever. That lore is dense, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, oh, Jay Goodwin, you have a good point. The world does need a B. A. Turner lofty pixels debate. I think the I, world. I paid oh, I paid to see that. I, I need to make that happen. I think. Yeah, I think I you do. That would be crazy. Ask them uh, the what, a, implode. what a prequel is. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> Just like, let them go nuts. <laughs> Ask him if there's such thing as objectivity when it comes to writing and storytelling. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh yeah, that, that was a bit in the street. <laughs> yeah. That was at the BBS uh, yeah, stream. We got onto that point <laughs> at the end. And yeah. I, I caused him to buffer for about 45 seconds. And then yeah. he just went on his phone and had a sulk. It was great. I was it, was, it was really good flash fun. During when you did that, <laughs> I think that's I the maddest I've ever. That's the maddest I've ever seen. Platoon, or like not <laughs> mad, but like annoyed, because I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I will say, times. out of uh, the entire time I've known you, that stream, if you sh you everyone should go watch it, is the <laughs> maddest I've ever seen him get, and it's pretty good. <laughs> it's definitely worth checking out. Absolutely. Um, is there anything else on Madam Web that anybody wants to bring up? Um, I, 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 I don't know. You what? Sydney what? Sweeney, 10 out of 10. 10 out of, she's a 10. You'd give her 10. No, the movie is a 10 out of 10. Because oh, the movie? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It, like it, She isn't just a 10 out of 10. She radiates so much, she makes the movie a 10 mm. out of 10. It's like Haley Seinfeld. I don't make the rules here. I'd like to know how black they're going to make that black Spidey because she's race swapped from the comics and they made her like painfully black looking on the poster. What, what is painfully black? <laughs> they took every <laughs> black stereotype from the 70s and put it on a race swapped version of one of these Spidey women. And she, she stands out so awkwardly on one of the promotional posters. From, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember which region it's in. I can't remember but the, I'd like oh, to know versions like cool haircut too. Yeah, yeah. Fine. So I'd like I'd like to know how how deep that'll go. Um, but I don't remember the other movies in this in the Sony Spider Verse getting too identity politic y. Uh, I don't think they did. <laughs> <laughs> I should maybe stop talking for a while. <laughs> Oh, I missed Vex being racist. You did. Oh, yeah. you did. Dude, those this... are my favorite moments. Yeah, dude. The, her, her haircut in the comics is so cool. Why'd they get rid of it? They added like a weird lame afro. Because it's Black yeah. History Month. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, it's uh, it's uncomfortable. So, And she, she stands out really awkwardly from the rest of them too because of how dumb she kind of looks in retrospect. Um, but it is what it is. That's all I'm looking forward to. And to see if, you know, maybe they'll all defeat villains with like a late night X rated voice because that's all I'm seeing in Dakota Fanning's, or not Dakota Fanning, Dakota Johnson's promos. Go see Dude, Madden those Web. promos are wild. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what am I watching? Like, what are you advertising here? Like,. <laughs> Uh, so that's Madam Web, folks. <laughs> that's Madam to look Web, forward to. Yeah. Um, uh, was there anything else even on the docket? I think we might be coming to the end. A bit uh, of a slow news. I know Disney lost like a, another few million subscribers. Um, was there anything else, Cynic, that you had in mind? No, that was really all the stuff I had in mind this week. Right. Well, in that case, I reckon we um, heat up some super chats because they came in many many hours ago um and we eventually get to all of them eventually being the operative word um one actually came in so many hours ago we weren't even here so <laughs> that's good it's from um svitka's nepotism for 50 swedish krona dear platoon i'll be watching this as a vada tomorrow at the gym would you mind citing something from shakespeare while i'm lifting for my life um Oh, Shakespeare doesn't. I don't think Shakespeare has any particularly sort of weightlifty quotes. He wasn't big on his on his lifting. I don't think he even lifted. Um, so 
I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling for a, an appropriate Shakespeare for that. There's sonnets, but no one wants to hear sonnets. So, no is the answer to that one. But thank you for your money. Wait, um, read the, did you read the one that What's His Face wrote to Tim- Timothy Chalamet? No, I'm not reading that oh, shit. No, that's a poem at least. Like you know, it's <laughs> it's, I, I highly doubt it's a poem. Shakespearean. Uh, 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 I would think. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's Shakespearean in nature. Yeah. Uh, no, I, it's I'm, it's probably a speech told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. There's your Shakespeare reference. Um, so I did actually get one in there. Um, Cynic, do you want to pronounce the name? Because I'm, I'm going to struggle. Sorry. <laughs> Jan Grabercock. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I yeah. think it might be, you'll correct me if I think it's Grabarchik. I could be wrong, oh, though. Oh, fuck. Grabarchik. Wow, that was very based of you, Platoon. Yeah. Uh, and they paid you $10 to get their name right. Thank you for that. I don't remember what specifically I said that was based, but it, it could be literally anything. So, you know. No, I think it was when you were calling football lame. Oh, well, that is an incredibly based American, take. And it's, and it's true. Yeah. Well, I don't, I'm glad I said grab her cock then. I don't, I don't <laughs> understand football either. I just watch it at family reunions as an excuse not to talk to anybody. So that's, yeah, um, I could see it being useful for that. Um, Tai Fong, who has been a member for 11 months, you're coming up for your anniversary when we shall not go out for dinner and romantic candlelight, you know, wine and stuff. But, um, so very glad to see you all back on the regular and even happier to see you all live. Thank you. I think we are all alive, um, still for now. Backface, do you want to take this one for us? Oh, yeah. Uh, George the Giant Slayer for nineteen ninety nine. That's fat. Thank you. Uh, all hail little platoon and your amazing panel breaking down the Hollywood hive and it's culture carnage. Taylor Swift is just another look at me leech me. Look at me leech. I get it. I get it. It's just another look at me leech. Uh, wishing you all the best. Um, Thank you very much, George. George has a, an excellent stream on Sundays as well, which if anyone, I'm probably most people here already watch it, but if you don't check out the, uh, yeah, Slayer Nation, it's a very good stream and he's been kind enough to have me on a few times. Um, Charlie Rowe for ten dollars. Oh look, it's the Queen. Thanks for classing up the joint little. Um, am I the Queen? <laughs> yes. I don't think I have that costume. I need to get that commissioned. I'll get myself like a a wig and a crown. Um, I'll, I'll also have to be zombified because she's dead. Um, Andrew, your turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, the same name I, that I forgot out. What is it? Gret. <laughs> Grabachek? It's Jan Grabachek, I think. Jan Grabachek for 25. Imagine winning the Super Bowl and still being in the shadow uh, of the Gucci. Homeboy might get a, a song, though. Yeah, maybe. Wouldn't he be more likely to get a song if he lost? That was, that was one of the memes that was going around That's when he's true. shoving shoving the poor old man. So he put me on, otherwise she'll, write, she'll dump me and write a song about me or something. <laughs> It was in the back of his head at the very least. <laughs> uh, Vex, over to you. Uh, okay, Charlie Rowe for $5. DP3 will go from pegging to dogging to meet Andrew's high standards. My high standards? What are you talking about? I just have standards. Do you look at this man and think, yes, he has high standards? <laughs> 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 uh, does, does anyone know what dogging means? Are we? No. Yeah. What is that? I'm not, I'm not like decrepit enough to. Wait, dogging is, is dogging, is dogging not a thing in America? I don't think. So. Uh, it depends. What? It, what? What's the British definition? Well, from what I understand, and I have absolutely no experience of this, but yeah. dogging is like you go to random car parks and you bone strangers in car parks and leave and never see them again. I'm pretty sure that's what dogging is. No, All right, we're going. We're going to Urban. No, Dictionary. I wouldn't even. Is that real? Is that a real thing? I've never done that. That That'd just be... sounds like a one night stand at a car. That's it. Kind of, yeah. But is it like it can be group things? Like lots of people turn up. I, I like. I know oh. this sort of because there's um there's a marina in my nearest town, and once upon a time when we were like eighteen, um, my friends and I got very drunk, and we have a de- we had a designated drunk driver because she was really good at driving while drunk. <laughs> But we mm. thought, fuck it, there's a 24-hour McDonald's, let's go and see if we can spot any doggers, and then we'll get McDonald's and go home. Because it was a famous dogging site. So we drove there at like 3am, 
and we didn't find any doggers, um, which is probably for the best because we parked up there in a car, so they might have got the complete wrong idea. And then we did indeed get a McDonald's, and it was a very good McDonald's. But yeah, that's what dogging is. I'm surprised you don't have that in America because you're depraved in all the other ways. I searched it on Urban Dictionary. Platoon's right. So it's watching people have sex in cars. No, no, no. Going and having sex no, by meeting warriors. people in your cars. Yeah, it's having sex in public. Is the There's also definition, but cottaging. Yeah, the cottaging, I think, is... Is cottaging public toilet? I think it's public toilets doing the same thing, but public toilets. And there's something else, <laughs> but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, that's the proper response, because if you've been to a public toilet in this country in particular... Yeah, yeah no. Um... George the Giant Slayer for another nine ninety nine. Thank you very much, George. Don't underestimate audience apathy and the fact they don't want to go back to school to do homework by watching how many Disney Plus series to know what's what. I call six hundred dollars, uh, six hundred million to eight hundred million. All hail uh, six to eight hundred million. That would be for Deadpool, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it would. Mm -hmm. I guess I that's around what it made the last two entries. So I don't even think you have to do homework for the TVA. Um, because it seems like I mean it's a new cast in the TVA. They got new uh, suits. Yeah. So um and they can which, just use Reynolds to be the audience. They'll just yeah. explain everything to him, give rules that mm -hmm. make sense for the movie, but nothing else. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be my bet. That it'll be a new TVA. Um yeah. so the best thing that can come out of it is we get a TVA that actually makes Ooh. sense. And then oh, the worst thing could be that since the this TVA has different suits that they're setting this up as a different uh, like an omni multiverse where this is this takes place in another multiverse completely detached. Verse. yeah but i don't think they have i don't think they'll do that i also the new suits suck they look like futuristic cyberpunk like construction workers stick to the ones in loki the one those ones look fine i can't believe i'm compl complimenting loki but yeah i like the costume <laughs> design in that keep that Okay. Cynic, over to you. Charlie Rowe for $5. The only cameo I want in Deadpool 3 is Gorlock the Destroyer. Who's with me? For real. Uh, the the meme Gorlock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be an epic battle. Who is? I don't know who that is. Who is Gorlock the Destroyer? Hang on. I can... Uh... It's that really fat trans woman that was on the whatever oh podcast. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> The um, one where, like, the meme was uh, the who got the me, Jabba was, Baba. Right, they were introducing themselves, and then when it got to her, it was Jabba the Hut <laughs> or Optimus Prime. She looks like Jabba the was Hutt. The there you go. Yeah, she looks like Jabba, so it was like me, Jabba. <laughs> so someone where it was my name is Optimus Prime. That one was good too. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Let them come. Uh, I did dub oh, over Jabba's God. voice for Lizzo in my last Mandalorian video. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a super sticker from Frank Junes, but for £2. Thank you very much, sir. Third time, so in theory, we're getting closer to the correct pronunciation for Jan Grabarczyk for 50 PL Polish. Polish Why would it be Zoltis? Zoltis. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, about Hulk's son, because of the lethal gamma radiation in his blonde, only blood, I believe blood only, uh, only Jen of uh, I'm War. yep could carry the pregnancy and survive. So it's incest or more scrolls, and I'm not sure which is worse. Hold on, this is oh for the for the son, how the son became a thing. So he's a scroll. Um. Maybe. He's half scroll? Or the woman who gave birth to him has died of radiation poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or that. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> Just melted her. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> the baby. <laughs> um, yeah. Back face, over to you. Oh, God. I'm so high. Okay. <laughs> Tayon <laughs> Triggs. <laughs> For $10. I like your profile picture. That's pretty. Uh, I don't think it's impossible to make a great Madam Web film that gives a fresh creative take on the Spider-Man film lore. I think she would have been better in Doctor Strange's role in No Way Home. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. That's uh, I like that, actually. That would have worked be far better. Yeah. So we don't yeah. have character assassinate Doctor Strange again, please. Thank yeah. You. Okay. 
Well, so how would that? Would she just like throw spiders in through sky portals or something? Uh, no, she'd be the. She'd just show up, pop up randomly, and instead of it being Doctor Strange in the movie, it'd be her, and she'd be the one that like is like, "Hey, I can fix everything," and then she's like, "Well, I broke everything. Yeah. Goodbye." Oh. You can see that there's always the and risk because it's like first time like, introducing this massively powerful new character and that's the first and probably only time you'd see her i can see it being a bit difficult for the film at least dr strange is kind of known and his power set is well we know we don't know what his power set is which is better than not knowing that we don't know what his power set is so <laughs> it, it kind of works um tgv monster for ten dollars what do you think of the rings of power delays not that I think it will be good, but I look forward to the memes. There's been Are there? Well, I'm not sure if it has been delayed. Um, I think th that story, unless there's been something new in the last few weeks that I've missed, that story came from the fact that it hasn't got an official release date yet. Um, but I, from what I recall, season one didn't come out until, was it September of that year? So uh, I, my guess is that they're just going to release it at roughly the same time. That's what I'm planning on, because it gives me months to actually finish reviewing season one. And I'm hoping they really don't just spring it on me in the next three weeks, which they probably will do because they're a bunch of fuckers. Uh, so this I is saying know. it's been it's 2025 to 2026. Wait, so really? This year, uh, this is Screen Rant, so it could be wrong, which it probably is. The 2025, oh, I thought, was the original um, plan, though, for it, anyways. After the strikes happened this year, but the strikes didn't affect it, did they? Because. Um, it was filming in England with a like large number of English oh, cast members who weren't unionized. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, I thought 2025 then was the original year for release anyways. And... Oh, I got it in my head it was this year. Ah, now he has more time to delay his Rings of Power video. Excellent. Well, that's a relief. Uh -huh. God, I've, just got, I've just got to put up with another year of people popping up reliably under every video saying, when's Rings of Power Part 3? Um, I'm sure I can suffer that for a year. It'll be fine. Uh, vexed you on this one. Sure. Julio Rangel for $5. Hearing Platoon get that mad during that episode, I kept picturing his avatar just beating the shit out of Lofty's MK style. Oh, is that oh the this avatar was the avatar. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. It's a I'd really good like film. I just can't remember though, what the main MK character's name like. is. Yeah. Sorry, Vex, what were you saying? Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, I, I would actually like to see like an MK rendition of you and Lofty's avatars going at it. You know, fatality, and you rip his spot like predator style. You rip the skull and the spine out in one hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be quicker than trying to get him to, yeah, actually tell me what was good about Avatar. But um, <laughs> it made a lot of money. Okay, of course it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I liked it. Therefore, um, yeah, that was a fun stream too. I do love Lofty. He's great. And finally, I think from oh, who's this? It's uh, it's Velma. <laughs> um, for 10 communist dollars dear platoon in honor of the return of beast up officially i kindly request you read oh you bastard uh, we got the <laughs> money go. chat we got I the money you. You have to. <laughs> we got where the is money, it where do i where do i find this absolute <laughs> oh the first thing in the private chat i linked oh, it already oh my god i'm cringing Boys, already where the fuck chat, is get it? ready to clip it uh wait where oh, is it everywhere don't worry oh, it'll it. be on the re-up <laughs> It's, uh, okay, hold on. If you scroll, and we down, might just clip one it. Of these, one of oh wait, no, they they've like broken it up, and there's pictures between it all. What? Ah, it's oh, okay. Hold on, bring hold on. it up let on the screen. screen. Oh, so I think I found it. It's all good. Put it well, on the that's, that's a complete visual. lie. It's it's not good. We need the visual. <laughs> oh god, okay. Visual, I'll, yeah. Right, right. Hold hold on while I find. Freaking, We're back in god. kindergarten. Is it the one with the black and white screen. picture of Timothy Chalamet looking off in the distance longingly? Yeah. I think yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this, I'm assuming, is now on the screen. Not yet. Um, oh, no, it isn't. I have to do the other thing. There it is. Now it's on the screen. <laughs> Where's <Okay>. Timothy? <laughs> uh, do, we, do we actually need... I, I can't read it. Oh, I can. Ah. I, I'm not, I'm not ah. that blind. <laughs> there um, it is. Uh, this is where I do a voice and you see my horse porn folder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, boss, chill out now. Yo, God, uh, your face is etched by adolescence. <laughs> your cheekbones jump toward what? Your cheekbones jump toward what are youth-laden eyes that slide down a prominent nose and onto lips of a certain poetry. 
Uh, and the way God, uh, the way you hold my gaze makes me fear my own age. Because something in me tells me, this could go in many places, you are going to offer me something, and for now, I'm not sure it's going to be something I want anymore. Uh, and that's how you hold my gaze. Oh, I got that shivers. Is, it, but without the cringing, though? Uh, I, <laughs> really? <laughs> Ten dollars. Yeah. Ten dollars. Oh, give fuck, it to me. Okay. Give it to me sweet. You give it to pay. me sweet. You know. No. <laughs> this just, this one. It's so awful. I like. Oh no. I, I'm the kind of sad type who actually reads and knows about poetry. This is not a poem. This is. This is just. Uh, <laughs> your face. <laughs> it's not even that. It's just. It's like a cultural abortion. I don't. Uh, your face is etched by adolescence. Your cheekbones jump toward what are youth-laden eyes that slide down a prominent nose and onto lips of a certain poetry, and the way you hold my gaze makes me fear my own age, because something in me tells me you are going to offer me something, and, for now, I'm not sure it's going to be something I want anymore. Bravo. Bravo. Uh, Let's go amazing. talking, everyone. That was amazing. Oh, there we go. Jay's got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely appalling. Like I hadn't read it because I knew I would cringe, but I didn't realize. Just God. Um, I'm Careful. turning that one into a clip. Perfect. <laughs> the Beast Up. Archive I think that might channel. be the best moment of Beast Up in history. Yeah, yeah I think I'm we did that for my Dune review. There you go. If you oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna fall asleep to that. I'm gonna clip that together into like an eight hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. Oh no! I'm just going to critique the technique. No, it's like why does he just suddenly just start rhyming midway? Oh fuck it! I don't care. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Well, that's that's, one, that's of many. one of many. Many? Yeah, there are multiple poems. I've yeah. Read. No, no, no. Okay, we need to um, save them. For, save them for next week. Save them for next week. We got to milk this. Yeah, one at a time. I don't think I can actually handle cringe of that magnitude anymore. <laughs> that's. Oof. I might go and be sick. Um, on that lovely note. <laughs> I think, um, <laughs> that is crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh Jesus! The fucking oh, yeah. menace in the chat. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. On that note, um, is, is there any other absolute catastrophe somebody wants to bring up now? Um, or can we all just go away and pretend that none of that last few minutes happened? <laughs> Highlight of the week. Highlight <laughs> yep. of the week right there. Um, yeah, oh, I, I have to put myself together again. Jesus. Uh, Plugs. It's the plugging section. That's what's the, th that, that's the thing that we do at this point. Yeah. Um, Bagface, what have you got coming up? Where can we find you? Um, I don't know. I just sit in my apartment depressed, so... Oh. It's, I don't really got shit. I'm working on a video, but it'll be a while. So choke on a dick. I don't know. Have fun. You want to come discuss Spider-Man with us on, a, oh, on uh, MMM I, tonight? I think I'm on MMM next week. So You it's are, good. yes. Yeah. When is Dune oh, yeah. one? When is Dune? Is End that... of February. Okay. I need to make Wait, sure I don't forget. Oh, are you doing Oh, the new Dune? The I'm, new yeah, Dune. I'm doing 2021. Oh shit! I might see Dune too by the time you guys do that shit. Mm. Ooh! Oh, it's that early, eh? Twenty second, I think, or the twenty fourth. Oh wow! Oh wow! You like a week early then. Yeah, yeah, I got it a week early. That's why I'm like, hmm, is he gonna bring Fuck the yeah. cast? Is is that a thing? Oh, I think he is. Dude, nice. I'll cry if I see Zendaya in real life. You guys will get <laughs> videos of me weeping like a bitch. Oh. <laughs> Backface is gonna be on his knees. Yo, dude, I'll throw up in the theater. I like. <laughs> uh, there's always yeah. a slim chance she'll leave Tom Holland for you as well. So oh. you know, if you play your cards right, you gotta have those eyes. No, um, if you guys want to check out my second channel, it's called Xander Moon. Um, I do really long breakdowns of of things. That's the plan. And the next one I'm doing is on uh, a plane that disappeared into the void of nothingness. And it's a really, really interesting story. 
So, is that the Boeing one that disappeared a couple years ago? Yeah, 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 fuck yeah. And I, I read like two books on it because I actually Ooh. wanted to be like really prepared. And holy fuck, there's some cool shit. And they're kind of okay. like, uh, it's like my attempt at being platoon. So they're like gotcha. pretty long. And, are, <laughs> yeah. are you planning to do a deep dive on Vasha's child loving tendencies? No. What? No. Oh, that'd be crazy. I bet that yeah, would be off. That that's that's a way to crush a channel before it even happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I started with Jonestown. I'm on thin ice. Ooh, <laughs> you are. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's true. <laughs> um, Vex, what have we got from you? Uh, Madam Web review this week. True Detective Night Country season review next week. I'm on MMM right after this on Cannoli Sasquatch channel. The Amazing Spider-Man one. We're reviewing that. <clears throat> but other than mm. that, thank you for having me. As always, I'm going to make that poetry reading my ringtone. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, <and> that's all. <laughs> well, thank you for being. Here. I think you only did one racism this stream, so you know. <laughs> only one, one racism. racism. Only oh, one. Man. I said the N word last week on a on a stream, so I've kind of blown it now. It's all <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that now because that's we're so near the end. Hold on. To be fair. Hey, hey. She'll we say it for a ten dollars <laughs> super chat. All right, chat. <laughs> we are going now. Saddles, and I was, you know, I you know, it said in the movie, so I could say it on a stream. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but it's that the context $10. that matters. That's true. It's true. It is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that, that will be my defense when YouTube yeah. takes me down and I end up in court. <laughs> YouTube, um, YouTube cares about the context, definitely. <laughs> Andrew, what have we got coming up from you? Uh. Is it Thursday where we talk about Arcane on uh, Diabolical Souls? It is. is. It yeah. Uh, episode four we're talking about there. I'll be there, I think. I hope. I'm, I don't think I'm busy. Um, so we're on episode four. So we've passed the tragic one. Um, so we're on episode four now. Uh, and then for me, I'm still working on Temple of Doom. Because that'll be out uh, March 20th. It'll be a while because I'm dropping it specifically on Temple of Doom's uh, anniversary to rain on everyone's parade. So. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me. Kraken, Cynic, what have we got from you? Um, I'm discussing Deadpool and Wolverine in a video that will be out Wednesday or Thursday. And then Madam Web. And then I'm doing a video specifically about whatever the fuck Sony's doing with their spider verse. Cause it sucks. Uh, and then I have a video about stars who are celebrities whose careers just cannot seem to implode no matter what kind of shenanigans they get themselves into. And Jared Leto's on that one and he has a big section. So <laughs> is it like yeah. slanderous and liable to get you sued or is it, you know, it's safe. just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. <laughs> it's already right. on just the what's internet. already out. And it's what I'm just going to discuss what's already out there. Looking forward to that. Um, mm -hmm. As for me, I, I don't know. I'll be writing a better poem for Timothy Chalamet, um, I guess, because it's hard not to. Uh, no, otherwise, Echo is just, it's, yeah, it's fighting copyright. It's an arse ache, and I still regret it. In theory, that will be out uh, when? I don't know. Um, it was supposed to be a January warm-up video for the year. It's now February, and it's still not there. So it Ooh. may come out before Madam Web, or it may come out after Madam Web, but eventually it will come out then Madam Web, obviously. And uh, who knows from that point? Probably June. I'm suspecting there'll be a big June video at some point. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, stuff happens over the, the next few weeks. Keep an eye on it. And that brings us to the close of the program, I believe. So thank you very much to chat for sticking with us even through uh, that the thing that, that, that did happen and thank you to the lovely panel for being a lovely panel and being only minorly racist so um that's always always a great thing a uh, little bit of notice when i hit the end stream button it tends to take up to 10 seconds and if you send a super chat during that 10 seconds we will oh, yeah. not get to it <laughs> like last time is it larry i think there's a larry super chat which is just drifting around in the ether of the internet somewhere um, oh, should we go so, read that? <laughs> I don't know how to find it. It's somewhere. Oh, yeah. But um, yes, that that is the end. We will see you same place, same time next week, probably. Have a good whatever it is. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.